Good morning, folks. Welcome back to some streams. Oh, God, this week has sucked ass through an ass straw. <laughs> uh, first day of the week for work stuff was Sunday. And I work again today, tomorrow, and Friday as well. But, like, it's just been not pleasant. But I felt like I had enough, I felt I was able to squeeze out a stream today at the very least. Not yesterday or Monday though, but, oh, excuse me. However, we are here today, we'll be playing some Valheim, and I believe I'll, I have enough time I can squeeze out a four hour stream today instead of just a normal three. Because, yeah, I just need time to actually enjoy myself. So yeah, we're going to be doing that. And I do, ha I do, I am going to probably be able to do a Saturday stream, so hopefully we can look forward to that. But for now, let's focus on the Wednesday stream. <laughs> um, before we begin, though, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which pays bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. Especially with a lot of laws being pushed forward against us these days, yeah, these folks might proved to be a very good fundraiser to uh, support. Um, <laughs> so, if that sounds like something you would like to support, I have a donation button below my stream that will take you to the Tiltify page. I also have a exclamation point donate command that will also take you there. My chatbot shares that command every 30 minutes or so. And once the screen, the screen comes up, in the bottom left corner you'll see a QR code if you scan that with your mobile device or whatever device can use QR codes, I'll take you there as well. Anyway, you choose to do so is greatly appreciated. I don't see any sort of kickback or gain from this other than knowing that I'm trying to help fundraise, So, which I like to do. I like to help people if I can. So, anyway, you choose to support is greatly appreciated. Let's get the ball rolling here. Now, last Valheim stream... One of our primary uh, things we were working on was this fucking, like, boar tower. But then that cascaded into other stuff that we just didn't have that we needed. Like, we needed more startling cores so that we could make a set of portals for the boar tower. Because getting up there otherwise is a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Alright. And then we're on Strim. With the boar tower finished, we're going to be going after that copper deposit we found uh, last stream, near the very end, that we were uh, having a troll attack. <laughs> uh, oh, we also need to replant our, uh, our, car our kakarots here. Let's see if I can not mess it up like I did on my single player, well... This is also single player, but on my other single player, rather, I just need to make sure I don't, like, plant these wrong. Okay. That's probably about as good as we're gonna get. Let's, we'll space it out a little bit more. Then we'll back up a little bit. It should still be uh, fine. Oh, manually plant a few. Yeah, our, our food right now is not very good. We're still kind of in that awkward spot where like we don't have really good food or like solid setup for good food. Okay, make sure these are all fine because I'd rather I'd like to make sh I'd like to make sure I'm planting healthy carrots before just planting all of them, because if I mess up, then there goes all our fucking carrots. Now, there's a mod or two that would make this process much easier. I like, let's you snap to like a grid and stuff like that, but so far I'm not playing with any mods, like in any capacity, not even like on my own time, although that's, I'm almost always like happy to just kind of jump 
on a, to like modded stuff with games. And Valheim's not specifically like exempt from that, but I'm just trying to uh, get as much of the base game content as I can, I guess. Uh, we got 57 seeds left. We're gonna plant those as well. Just get my stamina, my stamina back up. I should have gotten rested again before doing this. Of course, you can manually plant them like one at a time, like I'm doing for some of these, but I find that uh, moving left to right and then just spamming the mouse button is a much faster way of planting your crops. I didn't discover it on my own, because um, I, I previously did plant them all, like, one at a time, and it took forever. I was like, there's got to be a better fucking way. Like, there has to be, because this is, like, agonizing. Because uh, planted crops are uh, one of the main sources of, like, you know... They're, like, one of your main sources of uh, nutrition in this game. Because you use them to make meals and stuff like that. Alright, we planted all the carrots. Just gotta check these ones on, like, the sides to make sure they're healthy. I mean, there's not much I can do about it now if they're not, but, you know, just kind of... Okay, that spacing's fine, so... Those should all grow up on their own time to be nice and healthy. Oh, I didn't know we actually made the bronze pick last time. I, can't, I couldn't remember. I thought we were going to have to make that this time. Well, that will uh, help with some of our, uh, gr our mining grind today. And we do have some deer meat. Uh, let's see what our food options are, because... Now, we can make this thing if we add more carrots. I don't think we have any more carrots, because we're just trying to desperately get it. We're just trying very desperately to get to, um having a lot of carrot seeds and such. Um, oh, we got a lot of thistles, a lot of rasps. Hmm. So these two foods are easy to get. We just need another, like, good uh, thing in, to kind of go in the middle there. I mean, boar meat is very easy to get for us, so we might just have to do that, honestly. How are y'all doing in here? Got a few of ya. <laughs> um, we're gonna uh, pr we're gonna um, yeah. Don't don't look if you're squeamish. <laughs> we're gonna um, moita. Okay. We're gonna moor you two of those. And then we're gonna breed those two again. How are y'all? Oh, y'all are actually doing pretty okay in here. How many do we have? Like, I see a baby or two as well, so. Yeah, this is. This little thing here is working just fine. I don't know what food I have up there. Or if there, I even have any more food. Because when you sleep, it kind of like uses up whatever food they did have. Kind of wastes it. Alright, looks like they, uh... They don't have any. So they will they won't breed anymore right now. What we can do about that is I can go try to get the... I can see if I can feed them raspberries. Because I don't know if their hitboxes extend far enough. 
But raspberries are like the easiest thing for us to kind of feed them right now because they take a, they take a while to grow back. But we, as you can see, we have so many bushes around this uh, meadows biome and further afield that like if we go on if if we go on a, like one real good uh, raspberry trip, we can get like at least a stack or so. So I'm fine with sacrificing a few for the greater good. Okay, so split those into two different stacks. One. One, two stacks to go in here to bring these ones back up. We'll just kind of toss it, and they should path on over to it. And yep, did not waste any time, and they're gonna do their business. <laughs> as as a lot of creatures tend to do, they are very eager to make more of themselves. And all the ones down here, we have no inclination to keep them alive because they are. The offspring from up there. From up there. It's not, it's pretty cruel. It's a little cruel, but yeah, like the setup for this is so that these two up here will breed, and the babies fall down there, and down there is far enough away for them to uh, keep breeding as long as they have food and as long as you're like within range. Oh, they can. Oh, that's that's excellent. At least that one can. Oh, okay. So because of the way I have this set up, just mir miraculously, they are able to um, breed using basically any food, it seems like. Because normally what you would do with, is use carrots because they have a really small hitbox that works well with the, hip, with the uh, doors. Because I just somehow managed to squeeze them in there with those doors like that. Their faces are like sticking through the door, so their hitbox is through the door, so... I can throw raspberries, which are usually really hard to get them to breed with in this way. So yeah, um, we're not going to have to worry about pigs ever again, because I can just give them raspberries or something. And each one of these two-star pig boars gives us four meat, so we're probably going to just eat boar meat for a while. I'm not gonna make too much of it because eventually we're gonna be able to use the boar meat for sausages and stuff like that, which is way better. That being said, though, we are gonna cook up like a good portion of it. Let's get back up to like around like 20 or so. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. How's our fire looking? 9 out of 10? Okay, I probably filled it up last time. Uh, did we... Ooh, we did bring some metal back. Um, we also have a bunch of tin, too. I didn't think we did. Oh. How much fuel's even in here? Not much, and we don't have much left either. For now, that's unfortunate. We might not be able to smelt all that. We're gonna have to uh, set up the charcoal kilns again and use up a lot of wood to make some more charcoal. But wait, it looks like we have a good amount of wood, probably from all those trees that I was chopping down where the troll chased me <laughs> one, of the, one of the previous streams. So yeah, we'll kind of let this uh, well, this one doesn't have anything in it, so we're gonna break this one down for now, and we'll make a uh, the charcoal kiln. Honestly, it might be smart to have it like this, because I mean, charcoal's gonna come out, go in at charcoal's gonna go in there anyway, so we might as well just simplify the process. All right. And while we're doing all this tomfoolery over here, the boars are going to be able to breed. As you, as you can hear, boars are happening. <laughs> How many of them are in here now? 
Uh, I see at least one. Oh, I see two, okay. See, when set up like that, you can only get to five boars before they stop breeding. But with this, they're going to go as long as their food will allow them. Which, I think food lasts for 10 minutes, and like every like 30, like every 30 seconds they like try to do things, and then their pregnancy lasts a minute. So you can get like at least a few boars per feeding. I guess while that's happening, we can just cook our other little piece of boar meat here. I think all this is loaded by a, by a, yeah, there's a workbench in here. All this is loaded by, a, is loaded by a workbench, so it won't despawn, even if I go running off and doing stuff. At least I think so. Uh, it's hard to see with this fucking tree here, but, um... Yeah, it's 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 loaded, but it's essentially it's kind of like chunk loading in a uh, Minecraft. There's like ways to do it to where like stuff just keeps happening. How many more of these have to go? Three, so we need total of six. Oh, okay, I think we've got enough in there, but I mean, there's no reason not to just load more in there anyway, because. I don't know if it's going to give our charcoal back when we break that because we're going to make another charcoal kiln and just have them just blasting, blasting out charcoal at a massive rate because we're going to need lots of it and we don't have the means to just get it for free yet. Soon we might because we can go find a, uh, a spawner for some certain monsters that drop not only charcoal but certling cores which is amazing for like just being able to make teleports everywhere like all the time it's really great oh we have too many stones why 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 did i just have like five gray dwarf eyes in this box they can certainly kind of go in here i would imagine For now, you're going to leave and go in here. I might have separated this out for the carve. Yeah, it looks like I did separate that out specifically for the carve. So we'll put that back in this box. And we can just, sh we can just shove some good. We can just shove some uh, goodies. We can shove some stones in there. We'll grab that too. The only problem with using honey as a food is its duration is, like, less than both of these. So we end up having to eat more. Admittedly, honey is, like, infinite at this point because of just how many of the beehives we have. So it's not that big of a deal. Alright, where did I have the me The metal! Wasn't it here, was it? I don't remember which chest I was keeping metal in. What? Oh, it's because I did that. Okay, I was like, wait, well, I was like, why is my pickaxe in there? My brand new pickaxe. I want to say maybe my metal bars were in here. 
It, it kind of seems like a place I would keep them. <clears throat> okay, it did give me my coal back. That's nice. It's very, that's very kind of them to, to give me my coal back. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to actually do that. I was like, I mean, they sh I should have expected it because this game's generally pretty lenient with like that kind of stuff. This is also why I built the boar tower, so that these assholes don't fucking pester the boars all the time because. They can't get up there, so those boards are just gonna happily just squirt out, <laughs> squirt out babies. Oh, that's a, that's a fun image. Uh, just they're just gonna have a lot, of, a bunch of children all the time. All right, that's fine. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be fine if it's there. Basically, with this setup, what I can do is I can have uh, 50 charcoal be made at a time, which just means of a stack of wood each time, which means we're going to run out of wood very quickly, but that's going to let us get enough charcoal to smelt some more metal, because I want to upgrade this pickaxe as much as possible, because in the next area, we're going to be doing a lot of mining, and you want a good pickaxe for that, and, well, bronze is kind of our best shot, so we're, we're going to kind of go with that. Okay, so we're gonna load up this. And now we're gonna go to sleep. And that should probably process most of that by the time we wake up. It's definitely something you wanna do if you can remember to do it is like load up your furnaces or your charcoal kilns. <laughs> Before you sleep, because time passes and those do pr do process things. Do they do do? <laughs> they sure do do. And yeah, just like that, we got 50 coal, which I'll smelt 25 bars, which frankly is more than we need right this second. But we're gonna make some more, and then we're gonna go get some other resources. Maybe wood, because <laughs> as you can see, that's like a stack of wood each time. Although we could we could we could um, start going after the ore because we got those planted. These I don't know if these are fed, but we're probably gonna be far enough away where it won't matter. So I don't think we're gonna feed them again. When we're doing stuff back at the base, we will absolutely uh, fix our carts and yeah, we're gonna take this bad boy with us over the hills and through the woods. Well, I guess through the plains really because. <laughs> they get stuck on a bush. Yeah, that's the only bad thing about this cart is that it sometimes doesn't react very well to like rocks or you know anything really. Uh, so how are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are well. Uh, I've been pretty stressed this last like few days because like it's just been really busy. Nothing was very well planned, and it's just a, a shit show at work. <clears throat> oh, there's probably a rock here. Yeah, there is. Now, I was considering moving base down to, like, around this area here, because that would make it a lot easier to use boats and such. Although there's this river here, I could just expand the river out and have that used for that, because, yeah. The good thing about having a natural river is that the, the terrain's going to be low enough for you to expand it out, because it's just naturally generated that way by the seed. So instead of being a full, like, in my offline file, where I tried to make my own canal through, like, the, the earth, and it not be flat enough in some areas. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to have a problem if there's already a river there. Because it should be low enough for you to do what you need to do. Ooh, 
Ooh, are all the raspberries back? I don't think they should be, because I could have swore I got some last stream, but... Hey, if they are, that's just more raspberries and... You... Oh, that's another reason we're getting all this uh, metal, is because we need to be able to make a uh, mead. Mead's very important. <clears throat> Because a lot of, a lot of this stuff like poison resist or like frost resist and that kind of stuff. And in some areas you absolutely need that or you will just fucking die a horrible death. So that's part of why we're getting some more metal as well. Because you need bronze for those. Well, I see raspberries here too, so maybe they are res respawn. Well, I'm not that really concerned about it at the moment, honestly. That cart's having a good time. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to push. Maybe I probably shouldn't have came this way, because. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it looks like we'd probably have to cut. No, we don't have to cross the, the big river. We're just have to cross this little one, so. We might have gotten to like drag this cart through the water. Oh, that wasn't that bad. At least yet. <laughs> if, we, if, we're, if we have this thing full of ore and stuff, it might be a little harder to drag through there. Uh, well, these are kind of in our way. Let's get rid of them and get a little bit of wood for the charcoal kilns in the process. Same with this. These big stumps tend to just kind of be in the way. Little bastard. All right, Grey Dwarf, come here. I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to hit the little lizard because it just kept running around trying to bite me. I'm like, come on, dude, really? Okay, well here's our copper deposit that was uh, partially destroyed by the troll. That was intentional because it's just less mining we have to do, but. <clears throat> Let's start with the uh, middle pick and we use up as much of its durability as we can. Cause it, sh it should ha it should do more damage to the copper than the bone one. It should, probably not by much. Like see, seven to twelve. Uh, on average, it's better, and we can upgrade the bronze pick too to be a, f a fair bit better. Better for worse, we also get a lot of stone from this, from mining these big clusters of copper. Trying to keep my head on a swivel in case we get any trolls that decide they want to uh, come visit. I'm probably gonna miss some of the copper ore because these these little note these little no these nodes can be pretty big, but I can't be asked to spend that much time getting too much more copper. We're just getting enough to kind of make our uh, our pickaxe here our pickaxe and maybe our cultivator a bit uh, more durable because. After we fight the next boss, we'll be going to an area with uh, better with better metal anyway, which is gonna be iron, which kind of kind of treacherous to get, but in a different way than this, because it's like inside these like dingy, nasty uh, crypts. <laughs> you have to go underground to, to you have to go in them, and they're like wet and dark and nasty, and there's like slime blobs and zombies, basically. They're essentially zombies. It's kind of like old Norse zombies, in a way. They're called Draugr. 
and they are a constant uh, source of annoyance. <laughs> They're also the source of um, sausage casings, <laughs> as disgusting as that is and sounds. I mean, mining this copper stuff's not half bad when you're just, like, breaking the surface stuff. When you're doing, like, the entire, like, I'm gonna mine the entire Earth's worth of copper, like, entirely. This might be two nodes sm smashed together now I'm thinking about it. Um, but yeah, it's not so bad when you're just mining the surface bits and kind of saying screw the rest, because, yeah, you're not gonna happen to go after all of it. Yeah, let's get this fir tree out of here. I'll get us some more wood for our, our um, charcoal making shenanigans as well. Like all these other things of copper I marked, I'm probably never going to actually do anything with them. Cause cop like b copper and bronze is very tedious to like do. Cause you have to get like you have to basically mine three ore to make w like one uh, bronze bar. So I try to do as little with bronze as I as I can. All right, asshole, come here. <clears throat> At some point though, we're gonna have to leave because our our bronze pick is a little squishy. It don't, right now it only has 120 durability, which is probably about 40 uh, rock breakings, roughly, because it's like two, it's like three, it's like, I'd say it's two to four swings, it depends on if it's already been damaged or like, what numbers you roll. Okay, maybe it's four, so maybe I can only get 30. But I also have the, uh, the, bo the antler pickaxe on me, which is worse, but... As you can see, some of these are breaking in like one hit, and that's probably because there were ones that the troll hit with its like rocks and fists and whatever. Okay, let's eat some food. And uh, we'll put the ore away, we'll put the stone away, we'll put the wood away, and I already got 24 copper. That's pretty good, honestly. Probably not enough for us to get our upgrades that we want, but that's okay. That's why we're why we're mining now and usually when I try to like mine from the top because it makes it a lot easier to hit like one ore which lets you kind of destroy them faster As you, otherwise as you can see you're hitting like two separate ones which I mean that's fine too the results not gonna be that much different <clears throat> takes longer to break individual pieces and this is just even more stuff if I if I am gonna build another base I'm gonna probably wait until we can get access to use building with stone because we just have so much of it and then I'll probably make like a large portion of the uh, at least part at least a good portion of the base in stone because right now we don't have a very big a good way to use much of it for anything other than like campfires but once we get access to iron we will be able to all right we're this as you can see, there's gonna be probably some that still, ex some of the ore that still extends underground, but I'm not really gonna chase it. I'll keep the markers on the map in case I need more copper and I, re I really need more. But like, there's so many of these nodes on the like, there's some over there that I could just go and mine if I need more. And I don't have to go chasing underground for it. All right, and our. Uh, our bronze pick is dead, so time for the bone one, which is worse, but hey, it's like a hundred more uses of pickaxe. Up, oh, shit. Well, that wasn't really what I intended to do, but yeah, whatever. It's fine. 
figure up a use up I figure I'll use up all of our uh, all of our pickaxe durability. And then we'll take we'll try to take this cart back. We might end up having to uh, quickly like build a little bridge across that little river there. <laughs> Although I could just try to brave it and run up the hills, but that's probably not gonna go very well because they're a little steep. But you know what? Screw. It. We'll probably do that anyway. But let's keep mining because we've got more durability. Load. Ooh, hello! You're a one star. Come here. Oh, I mistimed that pretty badly. Yeah, the great ores aren't too... They're not very... Like, once you get, like, the troll armor from fighting trolls and you have... Hell, just even the axes from the meadows, like, you don't... They're not really dangerous. They can be if you've got, like... If you're in a bad spot, like... Like, your food's about to run out and, like... And there's, like, a bunch of them. But uh, otherwise, they're pretty, pretty easy to deal with. And they're a constant trickle of resources, because when they die, they give you wood and stone. Yeah, we've gotten like 37 uh, bronze, not bronze. Um. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> we basically, we basically take whatever copper you mine and divide that in half, and that's how many bronze you have. Because it takes two copper and one tin to make one bronze. Like I'll go, I'll go after the pieces that are still kind of visible on the surface, like this. But I'm not gonna like chase after the whole fucking ore because there's a lot, there's a fair bit more underground. That's oh, grayling. Don't waste my time. Come here. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> Little bastard. <laughs> like yeah, I'll go after that because it was still visible on the surface. <clears throat> For being as not like efficient as it is, the antler pickaxe is useful because it's just like a hundred more swings of a pickaxe, honestly. Which, with us, when we end up going to the next area. We're going to probably bring at least one with us initially until we can get the next level of pickaxe made. And that's probably when we'll finally be able to like retire the bone pickaxe from use. Unless we have to do some sort of like big digging project. Which in that case we might end up using some of the bro the antler pickaxes as well. Just because they dig, they dig dirt just as well as all the other picks, so they're still useful for that at least, and they can be repaired at your uh, little uh, your uh, little workbench. <clears throat> so they're useful in that regard. You don't have to like haul around a uh, forge to fix them. Though if, with clever use of portals, you can just kind of not have to worry about that anyway. You just have a portal going back to your house, and you plop down the portal to match it. And then you just go home, fix your stuff, come back, and... Yeah. I'm honestly impressed we got this much of it mined with just these two picks that are not very uh, durable. Uh, is there more here? Oh, yeah, this whole bit over here. What am I saying? I was like, oh, I mined so much of it. I live! Hello, Cloudy. Thanks for... Oh, hello, Stinky. Don't, don't push me around. Don't, don't, don't keep me out. <clears throat> chop, 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 little tree man. <laughs> Hope you are well this morning, my friend. Uh, this last few days has been awful at work, so I was, I just figured I would try to stream today to make up for just how awful <laughs> it's been. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Yeah, not super great, but it's fine. Hopefully, next few days it'll be, it'll calm down, because we basically went live with a new uh, medical records like system kind of thing, like the way that the nurses actually uh, put info in for the patients. And so there's a lot of learning thing, growing pains, equipment that might not have get set up right, some stuff that's just not working how it's supposed to, just a lot of. It's a lot of shit. <clears throat> and not enough information or people or time for any of it, so it's just a, a, an uphill battle. Well, our pickaxes are pretty fucking, are pretty fucked up, so we're gonna attempt to, um, we might just leave this here and take, like, we'll take this back with us, take some copper back with us, and we'll leave the rest here. Because we're going to come back and finish this after we sleep and stuff. Probably reload the uh, charcoal furnaces. Oh, there's some raspberries here. Did I mark these? Or is there only like one? Uh, there's like three. That's fine. I'll mark it. Barbie for raspberry. But how are you doing, Cloudy? Y'all, you know how I'm doing, but how are you doing? <laughs> St uh, oh, well, that's, uh, unfortunately, that's understandable. <laughs> but you can do it! <laughs> you have the technology. Hello, dear. Just kind of wandering around in the dark. Yeah, that's... That, that's... Yeah. That's understandable, too. Totally get that. Alright, so the boars are doing very well. They're, 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 they're doing what they're supposed to do up there. We bred some more here. We're making some charcoal. We got some. The bees are busy as well, and they're also happy. Uh, let's put away some of this ore. Making it, we're making more charcoal as we can because we need it to smelt the copper and the tin. And I think we probably have enough coal to process what we have here, but we're going to be bringing more stuff in, so we need more stuff too. So what we're going to do, we're going to get another stack of wood, load these furnaces up. And then we're going to go to sleep. They're probably going to be processed. And at that point, we might... Um, yeah, at that point, we might... Um, Switch back over to furnaces. That that awful sound is them all smelting over the course of the night. <laughs> Doesn't sound great, but it, the results are great. So you know you just kind of deal with it. And like that, hey, they're all done. Because there's like time actually passes when you sleep. Like things actually happen. Like I know a lot of games like Minecraft don't really do that usually. Like, when you sleep, like, I don't think crop progress grows or anything like that, but, like, in this game, time passing does kind of do something like that. Kind of. Sort of. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> um, you know, let's just get more of this coal stuff being made. We're gonna have to get more wood eventually, because <laughs> this directly uses up wood, but we're gonna need coal to process all the stuff we're bringing back soon all right we got more loaded up let's go ahead and we'll fix our our, our gear and then we're gonna head right back on over there 
drop off some stuff. I think we've got like which which box did I put it wasn't I putting it in? I know I had a box specifically for like this resin or whatever. Okay, it's here and it's mostly full. Great. I lo I love that box being mostly full already. That makes me feel really great. <laughs> right, we got we caught a fi we didn't really catch a fish so much as it was just kind of laying on the ground. So we'll, we'll put that in there. Ca like ca ca catching a fish is a strong word for it. I found it on the ground and pick put it in my pocket. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta put a fish in your pocket. Is that a fish in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Sounds like something you'd t t say to, well, I guess a fisherman. It, it, se it seems pretty on brand. All right, how how are ca how are the kakarots? Okay, they're doing fine. They're they're growing. They're living their best life. They're getting they're being hydrated by the ground. They're, they're, they're currently not doing anything because when I'm over there, I think I'm far enough away where they don't like render in. So it won't really do us any good to have any breeding happening. So we're not, just not feeding them food now. All these damn trees in a way. Deer just yelling very loudly. Ooh, mushrooms here. Okay. Let me go ahead. I'll mark the mushrooms. Mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> I like to kind of till the ground. I was going to say pave the ground, but that's not the right fucking word. <laughs> A little house here. Now, for some ungodly reason, we need more stone. We can eventually break this down for stone, but we we get plenty of it from doing other stuff anyway. So I'm not really that in need of. Oh, you're gonna just bother me now, aren't you? Maybe. And it's just kind of running around. All right, cool. Never mind then. I was thinking the the boar was gonna keep chasing us for no reason because we're just ran by it and it's just really scared and yeah. All right, we're, we've been mining the copper here. There was like a there's a copper that last stream we had the troll smacking around too, so we got a little bit of a head start. And there's probably more of the ore under the ground. Because these ores don't sim these copper ores don't simply just exist on the they don't simply just exist on the surface or some that's underground. But I'm not going after that this time. Like on my own time, I tend to like if I'm at this point in the game, I tend to like go after every piece of it. But like I'm not doing that. That takes a lot of time that I don't really feel like spending in this like kind of era of the game of like being. In like with this resource level because you can kind of think of the game as separated in different like ages of like metal or like material like this is kind of like the uh, bronze the, the bronze age or copper age or whatever because our metal of choice is bronze so that's kind of what we were doing and the next one's gonna be iron oh kabam that was that was satisfying now one super satisfying thing you can do is um you can mine underneath the entire ore and then start breaking out pieces of it and then like big swaths of it will just explode because of how the gravity works in this game that's the really ex uh, satisfying part about mining the ores but other than that yeah no we're not doing that like we can dig further down underneath this area and there's probably still some ore left behind but i'm not really that concerned with that as it is from the stuff that was on the surface, plus some stuff we brought home for you, so we got like a good amount. So we're gonna just uh, take this back. Probably gonna have to 
build a little bridge across this little river over here. Because um, this cart respects how much weight is in it and will vary and vary will vary how easy it is to pull which matters more if you're going up a hill than anything really so we're gonna try to stick to the lowlands to make this easier on myself oh no no what we could do is we could be, we could be cheeky and just try to like f flatten the, the land out here The power of, like, being a Viking and having a hoe, I guess. I don't know. Well, that worked out. So now we can just kind of go around the lowland part here. Oh, we're literally stuck between a tree and a bush. <laughs> we can drag in a little cart. Yeah, for co for context, this cart is holding like 600 pounds of like just rocks and well, mostly rocks. Although some of the rocks are copper, not just rocks. So yeah, us being able to carry this at all in one trip is well worth our time. You just have to like play it smart and not put yourself in a bad situation when hauling stuff back. Do I have these? Is this another raspberry? My cluster I don't have marked. Oh, would you would you look at that? All right, cool. So I don't know if all these bushes have respawned since the last time I picked them, but there's some there. So if we need them, they're there. Gabu. Gabu. No one cover me while I'm casting. Jeez. Hello. <laughs> Oh, that voice line. Goodness gracious, Norma. Oh, uh, we're, we're, we're running up the hill with this thick-ass cart full of ore. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just... Things wait. I'm just afraid of sliding back down the hill if I stop. <laughs> it would drag me down back down the hill very slowly, it looks like. Yeah, that's the only bad thing about my base is like kind of up here in the hills. It'd probably be smarter if I had my base closer down to the water, but for now it's fine. Eventually, once we can get a, an I there's an item we can make called the Abyssal Harpoon that'll let us like more easily move boars around without having to um, corral them in fences. Although honestly, it's probably easier just to do that anyway, even if the th you have the thing, because then monsters can't hurt them as easily when you're trying to like move them to places. But yeah, we, we, we made it back with all that ore from that place. Looks like this is finished smelting. They who smelt it dealt it. I'm about to I'm about to deal about to, I'm about to deal it. I'm I'm about to deal psychic damage to myself. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put these. Um, for now, we're gonna put these like right. Uh, it doesn't really like that. Don't know why. Just doesn't really like that. You can usually put them pretty close together, but maybe it's like not flat enough or something. Uh, kind of do see a little bit of a, a nub here. I probably made it worse now. Um, Yeah, it's not very pretty, but it's fine. Oh. You know what? It's fine. We'll, uh... I might need to move this one now. Uh, we can do some... 
We'll do something like that, because we can probably... Yeah, we can reach the smelter thing there, and we can reach... Never mind, we can't move the... We, we, we don't have much room to work with here, which is one of the main downsides of this base I've set up, is that there's not much room here, because I kind of set it up on top of, like, on top of the hill, and it's just downhill from here, literally, so... I, I probably... Moving base at some point is probably going to have to happen regardless, because, I mean, there's not much... There's not much benefit to being on top of this little hill here. Now that this copper was gone, there was some copper over here that I didn't mark because it was so close. And there was some copper here that we basically mined out in almost its entirety. There might be a little bit left, but yeah, we we went pretty we went we went pretty hard after it. And there's just rocks here. Kind of just gross rocks. So yeah, at some point we probably are gonna move house. We'll probably stick around for a little bit until we uh, start sailing and finding some other stuff. Because, yeah. Fix our cart. We'll do that there. That's fine. Now we can move around a little bit more easily. Let's move this one. Let's see. Alright. Let's load these both up with some coal. Now would be a good time to breed more uh, boars while we're kind of letting this happen, but. Mm, I don't know. Cause yeah, we're kind of kind of the thing keeping us from the next level part of the game is me just wanting to get more uh, bronze and stuff. Cause we need uh, we need bronze for some some fermenters so we can make mead, which is another one of those things that kind of happens in the background. So the sooner we get that done, the better. Uh, let's see. But how are you doing, Hug Dispenser? Hope you have been doing well, or at least alive because I know lately for a lot of people myself included it's just been kind of not super awesome but you know you, you kind of do what you can <clears throat> ah yeah yeah I, I I totally understand totally fucking understand that's that's a fucking mood and a half if I ever did hear one all right let's get let's offload this ore I probably should go try to mine some uh, some tin too. I don't know how much of this area is still viable for tin. We might have to go like across the river proper. Very yeah, very very fucking mood yeah. Let's fix our stuff. I like this little step up thing here. I've, I've done something similar in my other file I play offline where my character's bedroom is kind of up a little step like this. But I like this. this, this that was kind of, this was, this house is kind of the inspiration for that one I have in my off, my offline file. Because for a lot of these things I'm kind of experimenting as I go with how I do things. Like this thing was not originally how I did it either but it saves so much floor space. That it's kind of silly not to do it that way. To me. I'm thinking I got most of the, uh... From this, like, area over here, I think I got most of the, uh, tin. So we're prob probably gonna have to come over here to do, to, to do it. But I don't know how much daylight's left. I don't really have, like, a sundial. But let's see. If we're, like, heading... If we're facing, like, the north here... I don't, I, I, it's probably closer to nighttime than anything, because ma I think maybe this land's, like, backwards. I don't fucking know, but, honey. The bees are happy. They fucking better be. At least one of us is. <laughs> I 
like how these ingots are just kind of stacking up. It's like a little chair. <laughs> it's like a little metal chair. Kind of want to scope out if I may just kind of like missed some uh, some some tin down here by the by the river because. Tin rocks generate next to uh, water sources in the black forest, and that can include rivers, or it can just be like little spots of water kind of just are around, so. I don't know if I've gotten all the tin along this coast. I think I did went that way and got a bunch, but I don't know if I went this way to get a bunch either. So while there's still some daylight left, I'm going to kind of go peruse the coast here. There are some blurbs though. Did I mark those? Some, some there's some blueies. Uh, looks like I did. That's probably not ten. No, it doesn't look like it. Just, looks like there's probably some here because I dug like a little thing. There might be some on that side. Oh, here's a little bit that I either missed or just haven't come over here to get yet. So. I was gonna say, wait, you usually get four from those. What happened? The answer is, uh, gravity. <laughs> There's some more over there, too. There's some more bloobs here. Get, don't run from me, Grey Dwarf. Slowly but surely, just give us a little bit more wood and stuff. There's. I'm trying not to fight things near the blueberry bushes because these are non-renewable. If you br if they break, they're gone. Great to just go find another biome of black forest to get find more, but like in vanilla, there's no way to plant more blueberry bushes, which is bullshit. I feel like if you have like 20 blueberries, you should be able to plant like one bush. That way, you can slowly but surely build up like a sustainable kind of like source of things because I mean that's how people have berries in real life that's probably how they did it, is they planted berries until they got some to grow and then they can now grow blueberries instead of having to just go out in the forest or whatever Ooh, maybe we shouldn't swim across here with my, my stamina is so low. I didn't realize the, the jerky had ran out. <laughs> How are you throwing rocks while you're swimming? Where, where do you get the rocks? Where do they come from, you blue-eyed fuck? Come here. But doctor, I'm also a blue-eyed fuck. <laughs> It might be worth my time at some point to build a uh, bridge across here, but that point's not now, because I just kind of need to get across to get some more tin. I have a bridge over there. I should have just taken that, but we'll take that on the way back. I just need to get over here so I can get some of this tin. Because the tin's a lot easier... Where'd the other tin go? Does it not always give four? I thought they did. Huh, well, I don't see any little sparkles, so I must have got whatever was there. Oh, hello. Rude. Yeah, skeletons aren't too scary either. Unless you find some really thick ones. And even then, they're not really that bad. Especially if you have, like, a crush weapon, like a club or your fists. Because skeletons are vulnerable to crush, as you might expect. And we'll kind of go along the, this side of the coast here. To get some more tin. Until I either fill up on tin or run out of tin to mine that's on this coast. And then we got the bridge on the other side over there that we'll just walk across and we'll be home. And then before we sleep, we can load up some more ores. Let's see, are there any 
Any sneaky tin down there? Uh, probably not, but I'll double check, because... Ah, uh, yep, there is a sneaky tin down here. Ah! Uh, I was sliding down the hill. Okay, there's some more. We... I'm starting to fill up. That's stone, okay. It's very dark now. You would think because of my name that that'd be ideal, but it's not really what I'm after here. Alright, cool enough. I just wanted all these blueberries to be kind of be a one happy little family. Because it makes it a lot easier to kind of just collect them when they're like all in the same place. Uh, well, just slid down. That's the one bad thing about this river is that the banks are very steep. Ooh, we have a, is that another tin? It is another tin, okay. We're basically almost home anyway, so we're gonna get whatever's here. And I'll probably just call it good. I don't, if there's more tin, then that's great. We'll get it another time if we need it, but I got a feeling there's not much more on this river. Because the biome up here shifts back to meadows. Which does not spawn tin. Uh, wow. Your aim is awful. Good job. Oh, oh, here he comes. Never mind. Change his mind. Well, yeah, your aim's pretty good. What? There you. Oh, there's one behind. Where are you going? Where could you possibly be going? <laughs> This little bridge is coming clutch though. It like, makes it a lot easier to get across this river. Not super useful for the cart, but useful for us. Because also, I also dug this fucking thing out for no good reason. Because probably not gonna have to use it. I was like, oh, in case we have to get across there to mine some more ore. <laughs> no, probably not. What do you have you? Oh. They destroyed that workbench that was there. Ooh, you're blue. Daba dee, daba die. You're also dead. Daba dee, daba dead. Uh, y'all are ob y'all are obnoxious. Where are you? You are obnoxious. Pain in the ass. Entire pain in the entire ass. Well, we got a good amount of uh. We got a good amount of tin there. We're gonna load these up with more copper. Once we get this put away. Okay, let's close this door. This, let's load up. Okay, well, we have pretty, we have a lot more tin than I probably need for this uh, situation here.
Okay. Do that. Now we could go get some more um, copper, but I don't know if I care that much. Bing bong, bing bong. Uh, didn't finish smelting all of it. There must have been not that much time left in the night, honestly. But we got more stuff smelted there. Yeah, another thing we're gonna need is uh, bronze nails to make the carve, which is the first little ship that you can make. Which, if going off of our thing, the elders over here, we're almost certainly gonna need um, the boat to get there. Which is fine. Just a fun little thing to do. Move out of the way. <laughs> Cards just like in, like as much in the way as possible. Grab all this junk as well. Alright, those finished their copper. Let's put those away. And we're going to load these back up again. And they'll be smelting away while we do something else. And let's grab all of that. And then like two of these, because you can you can kind of mix ores in the smelter when you're smelting them. Like this one's got ten copper. This one's got eight copper and two tin, which won't make bronze. You have to make it. You have to manually make the metal yourself, which is silly, kind of a silly idea. But I mean, that's how it works. That's how it works. Uh, uh, do I have another spot for these eyeballs? Looks like I do, because... Yeah, you get a lot of these great, great dwarf eyeballs, and... You, yeah. You get a lot of great dwarf eyes. <laughs> I probably should have focused more on getting tin made so we could start making some bronze and getting things done, but... Eh. That'll happen as it happens. Let's grab a few raspberries and feed it to our uh, noble subjects upstairs. Let's grab four. Uh, we might also need to grab our, our knife, our nif. Let's see how these boars are doing in here, because I think I had them breed to make some 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 childs. And looks like they're all grown up. We got five boars in here, so we're going to um, discreetly kill three of them. And then we'll let them breed back up to five in here. There you go. Enjoy. Those are just kind of extra. Uh, we got more boars in here, quite a few more boars actually, and it's it's only gonna get higher. Okay, and then we've got these little friends here. Let's split the stack. Oh, that's not a good spot. <laughs> Character threw it in a weird spot. Transform, hello, hello. Let's see. Yeah, I haven't used this in a while. How are you doing, 3Gs? Hydrate, I got some coffee. I'm gonna hydrate? Question mark. Wait, where's. Where did this board. What? How'd that boar get out? 
Where did the boar go? What? I'm concerned. How did that? What? I mean, we can just get in. We can get another one and bring it back up. Oh no! Hopefully that passes real quick for you. Um, I'm doing all right. I'm just confused why my boar somehow escaped from this little farm up here. We're gonna have to get another one from downstairs and haul it back up here, kicking and screaming. Which is gonna be tedious, but not impossible. We're gonna have to do some... I mean, I guess that would be good enough time to kind of just... I don't know. We're not, we're not gonna be able to get this little trap thing up here to make more boars while that happens, but we'll, we'll work on that while other stuff's happening. But yeah, I'm doing okay. Like, last like few days of, at work have been stressful because just it's just a stressful time. A big project's happening, and nobody knows what's going on. Everything's broken, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, how are our Kakarots doing? They're looking pretty pretty thick. Oh, yep, looks like they are ready to pick. They're thick and ready to pick. <laughs> so let's pick them. And this will open up, um, having actual carrots to use for food will open up some good food sources for us, finally. Because up until now, we've been just, like, eating, like, boar meat. Which is fine, but not very great. Because your, your HP and your stamina d depend directly on what food you have in your belly at any given time so not having very good food means you're at a disadvantage when you're trying to like do stuff like fight monsters or, or whatever <clears throat> yeah I'm, I yesterday was pretty stressful just cuz I don't know just a lot a lot was happening all at the same time and I, there's a, I, there's only one me well, there's technically, I have a co-worker, of course, but, like, there's only, like, one me to do stuff that I'm, I'm asked to do, so it's just stressful. So the only thing you really do is just what you can, and if someone's mad, whatever, they'll get over it, probably. <laughs> How many carrots we end up harvesting? 132? Nice. Let's divide that by three, and that's how many we have to replant to like, be able to grow that many more. No, I'm not the only IT person, thankfully. But when when the other person is busy and then they're like, "Oh, we, we need this done." Oh, hey, can you help? Can you can you do this? And you, you know, it's just uh, like you're already in the middle of something that's considered a high priority, and someone's like, "Oh, can you do this?" And they're a manager, so you can't just say, "No, fuck you." <laughs> so it's just like, "Oh, fuck." All right, so we had 132. Let's. I'm gonna pull up a calculator and do some some math here. Divide 132 by 3. 44. Yeah, I guess I can. <laughs> oh, I guess I can just drop everything I'm doing for whatever it is you want me to do. Alright, we're gonna plant some stuff now. Let me see. Do I have a spot just for Kakarots? No, I don't. And that box is kind of full. For now, we're gonna put carrots in here because we have we, we got 82 carrots that we can use, and we're gonna replant 50 of these to make more seeds. That's how you get more, that's the, the primary way of getting more seeds for your crops in this game is planting, uh, like, I guess, seed carrots in this case. I know some of the carrots you already have, and then kind of just balancing how many you plant back for seeds versus how many you want to grow. Let's pick, these will come back anyway, but I just kind of want to pick them because they kind of get in the way when I'm trying to plant stuff. 
Okay, so six. And once we get to the next area, there'll be a new plant we can uh, get seeds for anyway. So uh, I need to adjust the angle for when we plant these. Because I'm going to just be running around. I think that's enough space, but we'll give it a little bit more space just for the sake of just for my own sanity. And then we'll move down a little bit more. Start spamming the mouse button again. It's the easiest it's the easiest way I've discovered in vanilla to plant crops in this game because if you plant them too close they will uh, not grow and one of them will like perish or whatever and if you do that for too many plants a lot of them will just die and then you just wasted a bunch of your time so finding a good way to just kind of plant stuff is, has been very um, important for my mental health all right that should be all the carrots we we're planting for seeds and this 50 will turn into 150 seeds which we can then plant, and then that'll be, that'll be a total profit of 100 carrots next time. So we'll be fine on carrots, although... <clears throat> yeah, we might not need to that. I don't know if I'm going to bother getting another boar up here. We probably should. It would be smart. I, I still don't know how the other one got out. I mean, I know that one's like ass is hanging over the edge, but like... I mean, that's something we can do while we smelt this metal anyway, so it's not the end of the world. I'll, I'll, I can, I can, I can deal with it. It's fine. I'll just, it's just annoying that I have to kind of do that bit again. We literally finished that last stream and it's already somehow broke itself. I don't understand. Uh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need a hot move. We need more chests for stone, because stone, st we have too much stone. We don't have anything we can use it for yet, really, like building-wise, so it's just kind of clogging up our boxes. Uh, it's fine, though. We'll make deal. All right, so all the copper that we currently have has been smelted, so we need to smelt some tin. Load up our, our two furnaces again. Uh, it's full. Oh, <laughs> I went a little far. I wish there was a hot key for add or f to fill completely up with one press. There's probably a mod that does that, I am almost certain. It seems like a prime thing for someone to add a mod or like it's just like. Oh hey, lets you fill your thing up with completely with one press instead of either having to hold down the E key or tap it a bunch of times. All right, well that's well that's smelting away. We can fix the somehow broken fucking boar palace. I don't know how it broke or even really why, but. And we can come get more wood if we need it. Yeah, essentially what I'm going to want to do is um, push a boar back into that little other cell over there. It's, <laughs> calling it a cell makes it sound way worse. I mean, it, it sounds way worse than it is, although it's kind of bad anyway. You know, it's like... <laughs> I, I might die trying to build this thing because this is sketchy as shit. <laughs> um, let's uh, do that so we can, like, you know, walk. Oh, the color's, color's changing. So we can walk around and do this mess. Yeah, it... This stuff's already, like, not very stable being this high up off the ground, so it's kind of a... 
It's a little sketchy doing this. Uh, come on. Be hum be gentle. Alright, let's try putting a floor like right there so we can step. How stable are you? Are you gonna break? Okay, you're not gonna break immediately. That's that's nice. Oh, this is precarious. I'm still not even sure how it got out. Because, like, can't even really fit down that hole. So weird. Anyway, we're going to have to, uh... Do that. Hope it stays. It might not. Just barely, it looks like. Um, okay, so, so that is where um it's fine <laughs> let's close this again so let's go back down with our portal i had to literally go and find some more dungeons so i could get enough of these cores to make the set of portals so i can get up and down this thing without having to climb up there but look it's funny funny haha i'm gonna have to climb up there anyway so Let's skip to building. Bored, you're in the fucking way. I mean, this does, this little bit here doesn't need to be permanent. It, it's gonna be... J jump over the fence, you fucking loser. <laughs> like, it doesn't need to be permanent. Like, it just needs to... Okay, that's one meter high, so... That's one meter, that's, that's like, three. Because the character's, like, just a bit over a meter high, it looks like. I've never really sat down and thought about, like, how this stuff's gonna, you know, work. I mean, it, it, this thing doesn't need to be super stable anyway. It's just kind of... Okay, so that's two. That'll be four. We're just doing some really janky building here. Like, really scuffed building because get, building this thing was kind of scuffed in the first place. It's not, let's be completely, re be completely honest. But now we gotta work on it. And that's also going to be scuffed. Alright, that's too tall. Because of course it is. Hmm. Yeah, like this whole situation's real awkward. Uh, let me... Can I fit you... There, is that kind of supported? No. No, it no it does not. You know, how about we um We're gonna have to do some weird crap anyway, so how about we just start with the weird crap on a nice level plane? You fucking excuse me? <laughs> what in the hell happened there? Is it not f flat on the ground or something? What? What in the hell? That's weird. Apparently it's not flat on the ground. What in the hell's going on with this crap? Well... Cool, whatever, just collapse. See if I care. <laughs> I'm not mad, you're mad. God, this is tedious. <laughs> oh, is all of the tin done anyway? 
or this tin rather. Great, I'll grab my stuff. <laughs> just, just thinking of freaking Zelda CDI, just freaking bark lines. Just generic garbage. Great. <laughs> uh, we might as well load these up too. So it's. F I wonder what's for dinner. <laughs> Uh, I, ha I hate how much YouTube poops I watched as like a teen with that stuff in it that it's just it's like seared to my fucking brain. Dodongos! <laughs> fucking. Swadala! Yeah, it's. <laughs> uh, it's so awful, but it's like. It's awful, but it's interesting, I guess. It's awfully interesting. Yeah, 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 for sure. Dear pesky plumbers. <laughs> All right, well, that's all the tin. We might save working this bore monstrosity for another stream just because I can't, I'm annoyed at it. And that's not going to make me make very wise decisions. <laughs> Let's get all of our bars out. Hope she brought some spaghetti. Absolutely. So we're going to just smash together all as much of our stuff as we can now into bronze because that's kind of like the whole point of that mining stuff I did earlier is just crunch up together as much bronze as I can and now we have to cr crunch them together manually instead of five at a time All right, well, that got us 34 bronze. All of that stuff we had just is now just 34 bronze. That doesn't feel great. But we are going to want um, to use some of that bronze for some fermenters. So that we can make some, uh, essentially, potions. And we need to get that started, like, n those started, like, now. Uh, let's see. Fermenter is five bronze. Oh, that's not that much. I thought it was gonna be the fine wood's more annoying because we have thirty, but that we kind of reserved that for um. We kind of reserved that f that thirty fine wood for the ship that we're gonna make eventually today as well because we're gonna need a ship to uh. Let's offload this junk too. I I gotta find somewhere to put this put these rocks. I might just make some chests out here for just fucking rocks. Just nothing but just just rocks. <laughs> so I don't have to store them in my house. Because my space, my, my chests are like too full already. So yeah. These are just, just rocks. Go in here. <laughs> You're coming with me, rocks. You're going outside. Just makes me think of RimWorld, where like you can like you make you you get these like, big rock chunks and you just cut them up into bricks and you can just have like tons of bricks, just throw them out all outside in like just a pile. <laughs> Let's get all these rocks out of here.
All right, I am back. Yeah. <laughs> Life's like a box of rocks. It's it's always full of just stuff you don't want to deal with, but you don't know what to do with it. That's <laughs> what it feels like. Um. Well, I was I was talking to my roommate, and I'm gonna just stream till 11 today. I was pl I was thinking of maybe streaming till 12, but since today I'm not going to work. I normally go into work early just to get some overtime because at least for now they allow that. So I've been like, oh boy, let's do that because money, you know, capitalism. But mm, this week has been rough and I don't want to be at work. <laughs> so I'm not doing that this week. So I was going to be like, oh, let's stream till noon. But no, nah, I'm going to stream to my normal time and just have a nice, like, long, relaxing, like, lunch time with my roommate. So um, in light of that, we're going to work or deal with the fucking boars next time i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to think about that right now <laughs> but on that note we need to go get some fine wood so that we can make these uh these uh fermenters we don't need the fermenters for fighting the next boss which we could probably try to do after we get the uh ship made we might have enough time to do that Mm, although that does put us in another uh, bit of a another spot of bother, being we don't have enough stuff to make portal a portal from the boss back to home. So if we're gonna go there, we gotta make we gotta do it then and there. We gotta fight the boss and beat it, which not the, the boss isn't like super hard. And you don't really need to fight the boss more than once unless you've got like. If you're playing in a group, which I'm, you know, not doing that. Oh, whatever. Stinky boars. We're gonna cut down this giant oak tree. Of course you're gonna go that way. Oh, you didn't fall down the thing. Ooh, you also gave me, <coughs> excuse me, you gave me some acorns. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> Hydre, hello. <coughs> hello, Canuda. Thank you for the Hydre. We're just watching a fucking log roll down the hill. Hope you're well. I've been, unfortunately, very busy for a while. I stream, but that's about all I can really do. I can't really watch too many streams, which I feel bad for, but hope you're well, Canuda. Uh, yeah, I was, we're playing Valheim, and I'm trying to get some fine wood, and this oak log decided to go on a fucking trip <laughs> down the down the freaking hill. Uh, let's try to push it out of the water, I guess. Ah. Uh, Otherwise, yeah, I'm alright. Just busy, work sucks, etc, etc. A lot of people are feeling the same way, I totally understand. Uh, I'm there right now. Normally work's kind of just, you know, fine or whatever, but like, this week is especially stressful. Ah, fucking ads, Bezos! I shall wait to talk about that stuff, hopefully when you are back from ads, because, yeah, that's unfortunate, I, I hate that, like, if you, like, just hop on someone's stream and it's like, oh, hey, here, have an ad, that's, like, makes, that makes it really unappealing to hop into just random people's streams, it's certainly not, uh, very much fun, okay, I don't know if we need these. Uh, we'll just climb. We'll just go back go this way. I think our cart's up at the very top of the hill, of, of course. So we're gonna go up the hill, put the fine wood that we got from that tree. Away. 
we'll also cut this, I guess. It's kind of nice that we got a, uh, ads are over, fucking Bezos, motherfucker. Whee! Yeah, like, work this week kind of sucks. It's it's normally fine, because, you know, it's whatever. Like, I just kind of deal with it. It's not a big deal. But, like, just this week is just extra shit, because a big project, and nobody knows what's going on. A lot of stuff just doesn't work like it's supposed to have. So we're playing catch-up. There's not enough people for, cat for it. It's just, uh... And then you got this fucker. Come here. <laughs> but what we're doing right now is I am trying to get more uh, fine wood from birch trees, and if there are any other oaks, I'll probably try to cut them down too. Oaks are a bit rare. That's why I kind of marked that one, but... Let's grab our little cart and... Ooh, is that an oak over here I see too? Just kind of like on the edge of the forest? What a sneaky little fuck. Alright. Thought you could escape from me, the tree cutter. Well, this tree might smash some of these bushes. Well, hopefully not. This is a pretty conveniently placed uh, patch of raspberries. Hopefully it falls away from me like a corn song uh, well, I might be able to break the stump and have it fall down and be a little bit more a little bit easier to maneuver <clears throat> uh, let's roll it this way oh it's it's oh it's spinny it's doing a little it's like dress spinny but more dangerous. <laughs> the noble oak doing a dress spinny. Yeah, we're just cutting these cutting these uh, trees down to get some fine wood. Oh. Do we Oh we didn't get any acorns from that one. Bark goes spinny. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, when you're cutting these trees, like these oak trees and these birch trees, they very they infrequently give you seeds to plant more, so you kind of have to manage that. Thankfully, these bushes didn't get destroyed, so we can't replant any of these, at least not without, like, cheats or whatever, so I try to not have them break. Let's see, how much fine wood do we have now? Those two oaks gave us 41. We need 60 total for uh, the fermenters that we're trying to make so we can make some good old mead. No Viking worth their salt would be without some mead, so that's kind of what we're going for. Let's see if I can spot any more. Uh, our, 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 poor, our, our poor character here is just struggling because this cart is just full of just tons of wood. Uh, there's some birch trees here. We'll cut them down. Though they also get fine wood. They're just not quite as much as the oaks do. All right, cool. Let's crunch this up. Okay, that tree gave us nine. That's okay. Honestly, if the if the next one next birch gives us ten, we'll have enough, and then we don't have to go cutting more trees down. What? <laughs> it's just yeah, whatever. You too, <laughs> little fucking creature. <laughs> It's like who who's up cut who's up, who's up chopping their creature? Ooh, ooh. I'm. 
That deer has got some some fortitude. It's just like, eh, whatever. It's just a big tree tree trunk. Who cares? I care. Okay, so those two trees got us 21, and we got some deer parts, too. Um, huh, did I just not mark these raspberry bushes? No, I did. I'm stupid. <laughs> my, my little yellow arrow was covering them. Now what you see before you is kind of like my base right now. At some point I'm going to have to build my base somewhere else. So... Because this is just not a very good place. Like, we've got a we got a river here we could use for navigation, but that's kind of more tedious than just living by the coast anyway. You don't feel rested anymore. Yeah, that's how it like Like other people have said, like, that's just how it feels to go to work. You don't feel rested anymore. <laughs> It's like, oh god, let it end. Um, Mavis, you just got here. I know! <laughs> Alright, let's do a little bit of a tuck, just a tuck and roll. Sometimes you just gotta tuck. Some days you just gotta tuck. Alright, let's put this wood away. Because... My little, that weird tower looking thing in the middle is a, uh, a boar breeder since animals have like a proximity where they can't breed anymore if there's too many nearby and it was up, it was working fine and then somehow like one of the boars got out of there. I don't know how, but it's probably in here somewhere. So we were gonna spend some, uh, you can see right there I started building something off and we we're gonna spend some time trying to like fix that but I can't be bothered right now so we're gonna just work on doing other things like the um like the fermenters that I need to also make for those they're 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 ex they're actually essential for our um going forward they're like very important to have fermenters going so that you can make some mead so you can not die of poison or frost or whatever so it's for better or for worse important to kind of get that going so we are we're gonna do that uh put some stuff away so we're gonna probably have to build this room out just a little more like, I, I kind of cleared some of this area out for an eventual portal room. But we'll probably have to clear out more area further afield for that. And it might not end up being a super big portal room anyway, because we're going to have to make a new base somewhere. Anyhow, so it's fine. Uh, let's grab some wood. We'll extend this out by, like, probably two, just to give us plenty of room to build these. Uh, we could get away with having extended up by one, so we'll just do that because we're just trying to get by with what we got right now. Okay, so let's grab these. We want these to kind of still be on the same kind of thing. So we'll do this to frame out where I'm going to put the little poles. The building in this game can be really satisfying, like, we'll break a hole in here so we can see which way the floor needs to go. Let's put in the floors. Let's move the wall down. Kind of just setting stuff up so I can just like kind of cut and run with it real quick. Like just slam dunk it in there. Alright. 
that's a Okay, and then we can just kind of replicate everything as it is. Okay, we've got steep, shallow. Okay, that should be pretty easy to replicate there too. One of you. One of you, and then we'll flip it, reverse it. <laughs> and put that there. Right, we could do just we could just do that, but I might want to. I, I think I want to do some angles. There we go. Kind of like that better anyway. It kind of snaps at the same spot I was supporting anyhow, so. There we go. Nice. I like that. And that gives us space to build our uh, fermenters over here. Which I like building them off the ground. Okay, this torch isn't in a very good spot, so I might end up moving it to like right here instead. Eh, kind of, kind of better, but yeah, whatever, it's fine. Most of the time, if it's nighttime, you probably just want to sleep anyway. It's not like the end of the world. Uh, wood, we're doing fine on that. Now let's real quick look at what we need for our fermenters here. Cause I know we need fine wood and we need bronze. Uh, resin? Okay, that's pretty easy. And we specifically have not spent any of our bronze yet, just so we can make sure we have enough for these fermenters. Cause I would be a little cross with myself if I somehow used up all my shit for that. Okay, that, that. Let's close this door so I don't get any surprises. And then we need some resin, which we, we've got resin. That's like the one thing we have too much of, it feels like. Okay, let's waddle over here. Let's see. And we'll put... Try to line it up nice and pretty. Ultimately, it doesn't matter that much. Alright, so these are now ready to start fermenting things. But then we have to make a mead basis for that. So let's see what we have options. We've got poison resist, which is one that we're making immediately. Honestly, we're not smelting anything anymore for right now, so we're gonna break these down and make more, make the charcoal kilns again. Oh, hello. You're a big boy. Why you, you wanna just, you don't go in my house. Don't, fucker. Big old boy just fucking spawned right next to me when I was just trying to do stuff. Because of course they did. Alright, let's... I mean, very soon we're not going to need charcoal kilns anymore if we can find a good spawner for uh, some creatures called certlings. That's kind of scuffed, but it's fine. It'll work. This game, this you're, you feel cold. You're carrying too much. Yeah, this game's like, oh, you're just fucking sad, aren't you? Well, what a sad little fucking critter. All right, so let's get let's let's get together to stuff for the mead bases, which is sh which should be some neck tails. Woo. Let's see, neck tails, we've got some charcoal, we need uh, some thistles, I believe, as well. If I can remember, no, okay, I put them in here. That, that's why we specifically gathered some thistles, probably in a past stream or two, is for this. 
Thistle. For the thistles. Okay, and we'll make these uh, two poisonous mead bases. We're not going to need it to fight the boss. <clears throat> but we are going to need it for the area that comes next. Because <laughs> there's a lot of things in the swamp that will, that will poison you and just kill your ass in like very small amounts of time especially before you can get like the new food that's better to eat for like HP and stuff like it'll you know just just fucking die very painfully and just without much recourse you just you just be dead yeah our food options are not very great right now for just I mean, we have some carrots so we can make some better food, but... Mm. Mm. Let's put some stuff away. Just, just idly putting away things and stuff and things. Put that back in there. Attempt to store this fucking resin. There's too much of it, feels like. Okay, we got that. That goes outside. That's fine. We can worry about that in a sec. Our fermenters are doing that, so we can just leave them to it. Next thing. Well, let's calm down a little. So, our next goal is going to be getting the carve created. If we look here, the carve takes 20 resin, 10 deer hides, and 30 fine wood, and 80 bronze nails. So, that's what some of the rest of our bronze is for, is making more bronze nails. Let's grab those. It's like you're carrying too much, whatever. That's fine. So, we need to craft four of these into nails, specifically. Okay, and the rest of them I can use for whatever I want because that's just what that's like the 80 nails are bare minimum of what we need. So I can use I can upgrade probably the pickaxe as much as as high as I can really get it. Although, can we do if there's any other upgrades I need bronze for like these? I should almost certainly do that first because you know what? Uh, let's see. Anvils. Are those the ones that use bronze? They are. Okay, so I don't need bronze for that. I need to rebuild that, though. But you go right there. Okay. Uh, that needs 10 copper, which I wish I would have known I didn't have made yet. Because that's a little awkward. That being said, though, I don't know if I need more bronze for any of the upgrades to this crafting stations right now. So we can use our bronze for... Upgrading our pickaxe So let's get our some core wood out so we can do that We can at least do one upgrade right now and One upgrade will also double our durability of our cultivator as well, so we'll just do that <clears throat> And then the rest of our bronze is going to go to um, our cultivator and our pickaxe next uh, time we have more stuff. Because we need more copper, but I can't be bothered to do that right now. We need like 10 copper. Well, we could probably go get it from like over here. But I uh, want to do other things like make the carve. Which is more directly important than that. <laughs> Let's look at our food options, because I'm probably going to make something that's not fucking honey and boar meat. Now, out of our carrots that we have, we could use boar meat, carrots, and necktail to make a uh, minced meat sauce. I mean, boar meat's fine. It'll, it'll, it'll do fine. We just want something that's better for stamina. Like, I think carrot soup's probably what I'm going to go with. Yeah.
And more jerky's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. It's a balanced food, which means it's not really good at one thing or the other, but it's very easy to make, so... I mostly just want more HP, and I want something that lasts longer than the honey, time-wise, because the honey lasts, like, 15 minutes, and then you're kind of, it's just kind of done. So, let's get some carrots out with some mushrooms, and we'll make some carrot soup. I think I have them up here. Now let us reserve our honey for uh, making mead instead of... Making mead instead of making... of just eating honey. Just eating handfuls of honey like we're Winnie the fucking poo. Alright, so let's make some carrot soup. That'll be our uh, new dedicated stamina item. Just use up all of our mushrooms. We don't have too many places for mushrooms marked on the map, but if I am passing near some, I will try to grab them. I also need to keep my eyes open for mushrooms too, because like, there's like one spot there, one there, one there, and one there, so. We have, we have means to get more, but like, mm, it's not super great. Uh, let's put you away. We need to make some more arrows before we go fight this boss. It's kind of what I want to do if we can get to if we can get to the boss at least in time. But we need to make sure we're prepared before we go because I don't have a way to make. I currently don't ha can't make more portals because I don't have enough stuff for it. So we're gonna want to make sure that we uh, don't freaking uh, get there and just die like a fool. That would be ill advised. <laughs> Okay, let's fix our stuff, put away the carrot. Now for this thing, I will take this cooked fish, because cooked fish is better health-wise than this by like 15. And you can, with, with the cauldron, you can turn uh, fish that you find or catch into raw fish, and then you can just kind of... Roost them over the fire there. Okay, so we need 10 deer hides for this carve. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? I can't always remember what you need because they're just a little complex. Okay, 30 fine wood, which is not bad. Okay, I was, I was afraid I fucked up <laughs> and used up all my fish. I almost forgot about the fish I left on the food on the on the the shrimp I left on the Barbie, so to speak. Um, and then we need like twenty resin, I think. You know, what? we'll just gather the thirty here and um, fill up some of these standing torches. And then I'll just keep the rest on me as like a little stack, cause what we all end up uh something we can do once we actually get to the boss is we can like dig underneath the boss platform and make a little base there. <laughs> just so that we have somewhere to hide and fix our stuff. Oh, that reminds me. Arrows. Yeah, I was like, oh I need more arrows before we go because I mean I have a sixty seven which might be enough, but I don't wanna Leave that chance, especially since we're not gonna be able to just come back to our base really, really quick and easy. So I can't make port. I don't have the stuff to make the port more portals. Cause you need two certain cores. We could tear apart our furnaces to do that, but mm. we, could tear apart, we could tear apart one furnace and that'd be enough. Or yeah, screw it. I'll do that. It'll probably it's probably smarter to do that so we can just kind of come back to the base more easily. Uh, in that case, stone goes in here. So I think it was this box. Let's grab four. Oh, that's a problem too. 
We don't have the fine wood. We need 40 fine wood for that if we're gonna do that. Which means we might need to take a slight detour, but it's probably worth it in the end to do it that way. Because that also gives us a chance to use up some of these gray dwarf eyes, though. So, honestly, I'm not really that bothered by this plan. But we are first making this goddamn carve before anything else. Because if I use the, the fine wood for that up, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> I can always just kind of cut down some birch trees here and there to get the fine wood for the portals. We need more wood in general anyway. Yo, you always kind of do. It's one of the those things. We're also probably going to have to redo this if I'm going to use this as kind of like our main like kind of sh ship area because um, yeah, it's not going to not going to fly. But what we can do is raise this area up a little bit so we can still kind of cross over kind of like how like there's like a bridge but pa ships can pass under it but mm. We might just destroy this bridge altogether because we could just kind of sail across. Um, actually, no, it's fine. This is a river. We don't really need to go down this way. But yeah, we need to have a. I, I needed to bring some wood to make a workbench so that we can make the boat because you kind of need that. Well, there's a birch tree. We can cut that. We need fine wood anyway. It's fine. I totally clean this out. It's totally not just spur of the moment all the time. Oh, that's flint. I wasn't sure if that was a fish or flint. They kind of looked similar sometimes. But yeah, we need we need fine wood anyway for the portal thing I was talking about. So yeah, it's fine. I totally planned this out. I'm not just <laughs> I'm not just fucking around. Surely not. That would be silly. Alright. That should be more than enough wood. Mm. If I'm, if I'm going to use this area as kind of like a dock. Um, maybe the other side's better. I don't... Because there's a lot of rocks over here. It's kind of annoying. Of course, I could also just make like this area the dock that's already over the water. That probably actually makes more sense. I don't know why I'm overthinking this. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and uh, crafting. We'll put that down and misc. We can put the carve down. There we go, nice and boaty. Okay, so our boat is created. We're gonna keep this here so we can fix the boat whenever necessary. A lot of our food's about to run out. This lasts 20 minutes and this lasts 25 and this lasts 30. So some, the, the foods aren't gonna all sync up, but you know, it's fine. Um, the elders, before we go anywhere in the boat though, we need to make these portal, we, we need to make these portals. We need to make one of the portals. The other one will be placed down at the at on site. So yeah, we need a uh, forty fine wood, which means I feel like thirty-two more. I think so. Until we get that, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it did hit the uh, the raspberry the raspberry bush. Okay, 15 out of 40. And 17, so we just need to find some more birches. Birch, please. Before I even go any, we'll, we'll go over here to find some, because I don't know if I've really done much over here, like woodcutting wise. I was gonna say we can put on a chest so I can put away wood to not have my inventory be full. Well, we could do that. Uh, furniture. 
More like furniture. Yeah, whatever. Uh, regular wood can go in there because we're... We'll definitely get some from cutting down the birch trees, but that's not our main thing. So I just want to kind of... Let's just eat the food. Um, uh, here we go. Here's a birch. Birch, please. For now, it's not going to be a. Mm, we might we might want to make it a dedicated portal to um. Specifically to the elder. Although for now we're not good. We'll have it as a generic portal, and once we kill the elder once, we're not gonna really need to kill it again. I don't think unless something really awful happens and we lose our swamp key that the boss gives us. But I'm, I'm probably thinking a little too far ahead. <laughs> I guess we'll find. I guess we'll see if I'm thinking too far ahead. But yeah, we gotta get these uh, birch trees. Just missed the tree entirely. I have one birch seed. I was worrying that I just wouldn't get any. Okay, then we just need nine more wood. This, one, this log here is probably not going to give nine fine wood. Nah, didn't think so. That's okay. Just need to find like one more birch and that will be enough. There's one. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, relying on birch trees hey, for Pizonos. fine woods. Hey, Paisano! Mario Brothers Super Show. We're the Mario Brothers, and plumbing's our game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others. You'll be hooked on the brothers. <laughs> You'll be hooked on the brothers. Yeah, you little bastard, come here. Okay, we're almost certainly going to have enough fine wood after this. Nice. Okay, yeah, we got enough. And I can use the wood that I got from cutting those trees to make the arrows that I need that I forgot to make before I left the house. <laughs> Fish just kind of flopped right on, right on, right on the shore. Well, I guess the dock, really. Just kind of flopped there. It's like, oh, I, I guess I'll die. <laughs> you know, I probably should have built a portal down there before this, but it's too late now. That way, I can teleport back down there really fast once I make the other portal at home. So the way these portals work is that they have to have the same name the same name tag so they can link up. But that also includes if you don't name it anything, so you can just kinda put down a portal as long as there's not like another set of just unnamed portals like let me show you. Uh there it is. Like you can just kinda put this like here with no tag here oh yeah uh, arrows let's make sure Let's make sure we have at bare minimum, like. And we'll take that with us. That should be plenty. Because we're gonna be, we're gonna primarily be fighting the boss with uh, arrows, 
So we want to make sure we have enough. That should be plenty. Hope here's hoping. I don't think I've ever really taken that many more than that with uh, with me. And since we're gonna actually have a portal with us, it's even better. Uh, let's get 20 of these out. Make sure we can actually build another portal. Looks like we can. So we're not gonna build another one here. Just have this stuff with us. We've got our food. Let's put this birch seed away. We got a fully upgraded bow. Because I don't think this bow can go any higher than this anyway. And we got a bunch of arrows. We've got some food with us. Some pretty good food. And so we're going to sleep. And then we're going to try to set sail. These are fermenting. Hopefully by the time we're done with dealing with the boss. If we can even get there today. We'll, um. Hopefully we'll have those done. Because eventually when we go to the swamp, we want to have, like, when we're in the swamp, until we can get, like, there's, like, a piece of armor that makes you resistant to poison, which can basically kind of replace the those potions. But until you have that, you uh, probably want to have one of those on almost at all times when you're in the swamp, because getting poisoned is bad, and there's leech enemies in the swamp that, if they bite you, you get poisoned, and it's not fun, and they, uh... Their poison's not, like, super deadly, but it's deadly. <laughs> it's more than enough to kind of kill you off if you're not being careful or paying attention. Alright, cool. Well, well, looks like we'll have roughly 100 HP for the boss fight. That should be more enough, because we're, we're going to do our best not to get hit. It's not terribly hard to, to not get hit. You just have to uh, be cognizant of your surroundings and not be too greedy. Which are both things I'm always not very good at. Alright, let's hop in the boat. Hydrate. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, I have some coffee left, I'm gonna finish that, and I've got a bottle of water from work, so I will drink some of that too. Ah, tasty. All right, let's, let's set sail. We don't have much wind, so we're gonna probably just do this until we get to a, turning a different way that gets a bit more wind. Because we need to head around the coast and this way towards where the elder spawn, the elder spawner is. And looks like when we turn that way, it's gonna go directly facing the wind, so we're not gonna have any wind that way. So we're just gonna have to go. Sailing's good fun in this game, like, it's just kind of cool. It's like sailing in the Wind Waker, but a little more involved. Because the Wind Waker didn't have sea serpents that could come out after you if it's, like, raining or whatever. This game, though, let's uh, turn a little bit more. I don't want to run into the big-ass rock. That'd be funny, but ooh, it looks like the wind may have just turned in our favor, actually. I mean, it kind of did. Actually, yeah, I did. But it's a little scarier in this game because the sea serpents can destroy your fucking boat. <laughs> and then you're in, then then you're just in the middle of the fucking ocean with a sea serpent. <laughs> so it's a little scarier. So we're gonna kind of follow the coast around. Now, once we get to the next area and get some iron, we can make a iron nail so let us make a, a proper long ship. Which are, which are really good. Like, they sit, they sail faster. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be too annoyed if the Elder ends up being, like, connected by land. Because sometimes that does happen. Where, like, you'll just kind of, like, have, like, you'll just be on, like, a really big island. And like all the like the spawn points for the first like few two bosses, 
are just all on the same like big continent. It's convenient. I don't know if I even no, I don't think I even went over this way yet, so I mean it looks kind of like that's the end of that continent and sort of like this one. So maybe we could have just went over by foot. But sailing is kind of fun too. Yeah, we probably could have just walked, but it's fine. We need the ship at some point anyway. And we can just break it and get the resources back if it comes to it. Eventually, so it's not, not the end of the world. Might have to go inland a, inland a little bit to get to the elder spawn point. Well, it's not necessarily the spawn point, it's more of the summon point, because you have to kind of like. Ooh, is that a sandbar? Probably. Thankfully, this little boat is very. It's, it's, it, doesn't have a, it doesn't have a dumpy, so it can sail on pretty shallow water. No dumpies here. So we're just kind of sailing around, seeing how close we can get to it without having to go get out of the boat. Well, there's a Great Orf spawn spawner. Oh, looks like we hit some shallows and and or rocks. Eh, it's fine. No big deal. This might be an ideal place to dock up for getting dealing with this anyway. So let's start slowing down a little bit. Oh well, I guess that's a <laughs> I guess that's a way to slow down. <laughs> Just beach ourselves apparently because the tide. Y you know what? It's fine. It's it's fine. Admittedly, it is really easy to kind of push this little boat back into the water if you need to, so. We could probably just make it from here on foot pretty easily to the Elder. Well, it's a good thing I have my uh, my portal with me because I didn't bring a pickaxe, which we're going to need if I'm going to make the under little underground base for this uh, boss area. You don't need to do it. Oh, there's a troll. Of course it's like right in the way. Come here. We might as well kill it because otherwise it's gonna bother us, so. Oh, I staggered the troll. That doesn't happen often with bows. Gonna get some. Let's get a little bit of distance. Oh, shot went a little wild. I'll get us some time to get our stamina back. Let's run away, dude. Dude, do be stepping. Oh, step troll. Go. Oh. Nope. Oh, did you just smash that tin war for us? How sweet of you. I'm trying to aim for the head cuz it takes they take more damage from being shot in the fucking face. Which affects the 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 fire damage ticks as well. Oh, hello. Oh, riding the schnoz. Dumpy down. I 
Oh, well, that's probably trickling off a bunch of little gray dwarfs from the spawner over there to harass us. Now, admittedly, you can kind of set up a system to have use that spawner to like just generate infinite stone and wood, but it, it's involved, and I don't have time to do that right now. Maybe at some point, though. I haven't made a spawner for that before. I've done one for the Certlings, which we'll probably end up dealing with next stream as well, but... Anyway, for now, let's mark where our little boat is so I can come break it or sail away in it or whatever. Did I end up getting the tin ore that this guy broke too? If it's here, I might as well grab it. Oh, yep, yeah, totally broke it. That's fine. The thing with uh, metal ore is you cannot take them through the portals. The portal will not activate if you have metal ore or metal bars in your inventory. It's a contentious thing in the community, somewhat. Because it makes it to where you have to, like, sail that kind of stuff back. <laughs> you have to sail that kind of stuff back in a boat as opposed to um, just going through a portal and taking back, like, hundreds of metal bars or whatever with you. Um... Oh yeah, I was putting that away so that we could eventually... That fish is going places. Kind of sideways. <laughs> anyway, we, we um, put the ore away, so now it's time to head back towards the uh, Elder spawn point. Keep saying spawn point, but that's not where the boss spawns. It's where you spawn the boss. Like kind of a kind of think of it like uh, the ter Terraria is like boss spawning items, except you have to go to a specific place to do it and activate a an, an item. So it's kind of a spawn point, but it's also a spawner. Like it's. It's a weird, it's it's an interesting kind of weird situation that no, I don't know if too many other games really do. Alright, well here's the, uh, well, when we get to it. Here is our lovely little spawning point place for the Elder. There's not, there's not, there's not just one in the world. This just so happens this is the kind of the one that is closest to us. And we're gonna flatten the ground around here a little bit to make it easy for us to uh, maneuver because we're gonna want to maneuver around in this boss fight. I mean you'll see we got we should have plenty of time to fight it and, and probably beat it. It's also an interesting distinction or similarity with Terraria how you kind of like are encouraged to work on building an, a kind of arena for the boss in a sense. I mean honestly this is probably one of the cleanest looking uh, spawn points for a uh, elder spawner that I've seen like ever. Usually it's like partially on a fucking hill or some shit and it's just weird like yeah. But this one's pretty, it's like on a fairly flat piece of ground. So uh, there's not much we have to really do to get this ready. Just maybe kind of encroach a little on this lake here. So you want a lot of room to run around because you'll see we're, we're gonna fight it pretty soon I'm just kind of preparing the area a little bit more yeah this is, this is probably more than fine like even if we're in these little corners we can probably like we can we can be we're not the stepdad we're the dad that stepped up <laughs> Uh, that's so stupid. Um, I see you over there, Grey Dwarf. Yeah, like, this is all connected technically by land, if it really comes to it, but we're gonna be putting a, uh, 
Not only are we putting a portal down, but we're gonna make like a little a little rabbit hole, basically. <laughs> you could eat another bite. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Stop running in circles, you fuck! <laughs> I hate that when they do that. They're just like, run just enough in a circle away from you to where like, you just can't fucking hit them. And it's like, really now? We gotta do this. So for now, we're gonna... Now, the cool thing is that this is this thing here, it looks like a fire, but it actually counts as a fire. So you could technically make a base here with an infinite fire. Uh, can you make the... Oh, I don't have enough wood on me right now. Oh, we're about to. I was gonna say, can you make little fire things over that fire too? Like little cooking spits? If so, that'd be really funny. I don't know if you can. I've not really experimented with that. Well, no time like the president. Uh... Oh my god, <laughs> you actually can. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. You can literally just make a base with this fire in the center at one of these spawn points. It's really cool. What we're going to be doing is, well, first things first, we're going to build our little portal here. We're moving underground once we actually have the thing, but yeah, since these, this doesn't have a tag, but the one at home also doesn't have a tag, they are now connected, and we can just travel through and go back to our, go all the way back to our base. It's basically this game's form of fast travel is these portals. It's really fucking useful. And hey, look, we're back home. And the Kakarots are, uh, are ready. It seems like we can kind of like a, uh, we can kind of do a sort of like plant cycle. Like every stream, we can do like one full plant cycle, basically. Because there's that portal, that one we just came from. We'll probably end up keeping this one here and just moving the other portal around to places. Especially if we can find a Sertling spawner at some point, because then that will let us get more Sertling cores. To make more, you know, spawners. Oh, these 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 poison resistance needs are done. We'll just pour them out. Those are going to be very very useful. Let's find somewhere to put them. Probably in here. It's kind of like the. Uh... What is what's that? What? Why why is that in there? That's not the right place for it. Anyway, put these in here for now. It's kind of like our cooked food slash crops thing, I guess. Question mark. Alright, put that away. We're just kind of... Can we upgrade any more of our troll armor? Um, Actually, the troll pants, we, we totally can. We need a higher tier uh, station to upgrade that, but upgrading our troll pants to get us another, like, two armor, it looks like. Yeah, another two armor for the fight. I don't mind that. Just slightly less damage if we do get hit, which, I mean, we probably will. I say, oh, well, I'm not going to get fucking... I'm going to probably get hit. I'm agree. I'm greedy. I'm not very good sometimes at judging when I should or shouldn't do some things. And then, yeah, it just... Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Boink. All right. Let's put more of you away. Let's grab out... For now, we'll grab out the, uh, we'll grab out the, this pickaxe, because it's very easy to fix. Sleep, and then, once while we're sleeping, our stats will recover. Well, mostly. They'll finish recovering soon enough. Okay, those doing that. Now, with pickaxe in hand, we can just hop right back through this portal. <clears throat> I'm 
And just like that, we're back at the boss arena. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a little hole right down here. Oh. We might not be doing that now because um, there's water here. <laughs> We're so f I didn't. I've never had one this far down to where we're literally like at sea level. So yeah, never mind. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be able to do the little shelter thing I, I usually would show off. Because what you normally do is you dig underneath this thing, and this thing is floating in the air, and I don't know. If it's indestructible, but you can build under it. You can dig under it and build like a base entirely underneath this thing. And since there's a fire here. You can have like you can get your like rested buff and all that stuff too, but unfortunately, since um, we're gonna get some, we're gonna go back and get some stones. It's not, that plan's off the table, but we need to terraform that back to being uh, walkable. We're also gonna want to build like a little shack nearby to hide the portal in, I guess. Since yeah. My, I didn't plan for that to be far, as far down as it is, so we're kind of in a bit of an awkward spot. It's not the end of the world. I just don't get to show off the thing I wanted to show off by making like a little, by being a little mole and digging underneath this boss spawner, and then <laughs> putting the portal down there. Because as far as I can tell, the boss probably won't, is not able to actually shoot its attacks far, low enough down to actually harm that. So you can basically be like, if you need to like rest up and heal mid boss fight, you can just kind of do that. But eh, it's fine. It doesn't take much to repair what we just did anyway. See, you guys knew. If we want to be really, um, eh, it's not that big of a deal. I was gonna flatten it all around so it's nice and flush. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. Something I could do though is get these uh, little corner bits. What? Huh? I didn't know that the that was a piece. I must have added it some some point soon. I mean, you can do something like this, but no, nah, it's kind of. If it, if it was further down, we might be able to do something like that and it'd fit, but it's not further down, so I'm not going to bother with it. It's not going to matter. So, oh. I destroy, the, I, I, I do this more than I like to admit. I usually, because to destroy the portal, you need one of these present, but sometimes I destroy that first. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we'll, I don't know, probably like head over here. On the other side of the little lake and we'll just kind of make like a little shack we don't need to make a little shack but we might as well do something to keep the portal protected I mean things shouldn't bother it but they might and that could be pro that could be annoying if like our portal gets broken and we need like get out really quick and we can't because our portal got broken you know so we're gonna do the bare minimum to protect our to protect our our investment. So let's we're gonna put down a very quick little shelter. Move this. Just kind of right there for now. We'll. Break and break. <clears throat> it doesn't matter as much as I'm making it out to matter, so we're just going to stop caring about that. Okay, and then we'll move this back over. 
Uh, yeah, I'll put that there and. Like, you don't really even technically need a roof on this thing, because we're not going to be using this to, like, fix our stuff. We're just having some... I ran out of wood anyway. Well, this is kind of in the way anyway, so we'll just break this, and maybe it'll get us enough wood. Not quite, but there's another kind of log here we can smash. Alright, so now we can probably make our gate door. No, let me guess. I have like I have literally eleven. I was like, let me guess. I have eleven and I need twelve. Now I'm gonna get like thirteen. So now I don't have the right number anyway. Well, I I do, but it's not as nice. All right, cool. <clears throat> now critters shouldn't be able to get in and directly attack the portal, which is kind of the only reason this is here. Oh. They, they, they came to borrow a cup of sugar, it looks like. <laughs> like, not a moment too soon. We got some visitors. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, gray doors aren't very scary. Anyway, that gives us a nice it's a portal back here. Hello, your dad, the squid. How are you? Good seeing you. Uh, we are playing some Valheim. I'm making a little shack here to keep our portal safe before we fight the second boss. It's not my first time fighting the second boss, but it's our first time on this file. So I'm just kind of doing some prep. All right, good enough. That will that will that will more than suffice. If we if we somehow perish while fighting this second boss, then we'll definitely be able to. I have to go back and get the summon items. I'm glad I have this portal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Porta John, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> just gotta open, just gotta open the door, run through. Uh, let's see, where did I have those? I have them somewhere. Well, there's four of them. We need literally three, so we have just enough, I think, from just random. Uh, brutes. I haven't broken any of those spawners that are out in the world Because those spawners can spawn brutes that drop the seeds anyway, and we only really need to kill this boss once Um, are we about ready? Yeah, basically We got food if we need to eat more food we can Don't need potions for this fight Potions can be definitely helpful, but you don't need them for the second boss. So yeah, we're gonna go. We're going We're gonna go ahead. Run on. Run on over. Got a little little lakeside shack. Not even really fully a shack. It's just kind of walls and a floor. <laughs> okay. And look, I'm gonna take a drink of water before we start this. Uh. We have, any, we have any annoying enemies in the vicinity I need to take care of first. I see you, dear. Does not appear to be the case, though. I can almost guarantee if there's an enemy nearby, it's going to just kind of show up anyway. This should be enough. Let's see. Oh, yep.
Big man! Wakey, wakey, bitch! Get your big ass up! Oh, he's making roots happen. You won't, you don't want to be near those. They hurt. Oh, he, he's coming on over. Stomp. Yeah, these stone pillars block uh, those tendril, his tendril attack like that. Okay, and then we're gonna run this way to avoid those. You kind of just can go like clockwise or counterclockwise or whatever. Oh, there's, there's a root up there on top. I missed my shot because I was laughing at the freaking tree root being on top up there. Ooh, little cheeky bastard almost. Almost freaking got me with this. Oh, there's tendrils there. Ooh, that arrow went wide. Yeah, this isn't a very um, hard boss fight if you know how to deal with them. Which, I've fought this boss a few times, you could say. So, it's I've got it pretty down. He's not very hard. I say I almost got hit by the tendrils there. close there and he's gonna do his little stomp probably maybe me can definitely fight him like mano a mano if you really want to but you probably shouldn't oh, I got slightly grazed by one of the tentacles and it did like 15 damage or so it looks like Yeah, the, these roots are the part that do the mo do more damage than the boss usually does, because they they hurt if you get slapped by them. Yeah, you wanna you wanna sit th you wanna kind of sit around and let the, the them spawn. And then move. I don't know what he was aiming for. Yep, let those spawn and then kind of move around. Oh, oh lord, he coming. <laughs> So you can parry his little stomp that he does right there if you have a good enough shield or if you're just good enough. I'm kinda waiting for him to do his uh, little vine attack again. So I can kinda just move away. As long as you're careful you can you can win this fight without getting hit once pretty easily. I do love the music though. It's 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 very epic. <laughs> okay, let's kind of get away from those roots. I don't know what you're shooting at, buddy, but you don't feel rested anymore. You gonna stomp? Kind of want you to, so you'll like stop walking after me. There you go, big boy. Big old man, a big old tree man. Rawr, yep, whatever.
I do like all like the little stuff just kind of growing out of the ground randomly around the arena. That's kind of cool. Yeah, this isn't a very exciting boss fight unless you're trying to like fight it with like an axe or something, which not impossible. But it's way safer to fight it with just a bow and arrow and fire arrows. Like, way safer. Okay, and then you just kind of run through, and they'll just miss, probably. Don't know why you're shooting over there. Oh! You're trying to spread, do a spread shot stuff, huh? Didn't really notice he changes his attack pattern like that. Okay, then we're gonna just kind of we're just running across like this to get away from him and the, the vines. <clears throat> big steppy. <laughs> I just saw you just saw you say that's big steppy. I think I missed him. I thought I was gonna hit him in the hand, but I think I missed. Yeah, this guy's not very difficult. Let's get away from him. While he's burning a little, we'll eat some more food. Oh, yeah, he can knock down trees with his little attack. It, it, it damages the surroundings. I don't know if it damages stuff like copper ore or not, but you, maybe you could use this guy to, like, break some copper ore that's, like, you don't want to deal. feel like mining yourself. <laughs> you can do that with trolls. I don't know if you can do that with him, though. Yep, slow and steady wins the uh, race with this boss. You can definitely do it a little faster if you like you fight with like an axe or something. But you don't really need to do that. We can just shoot him with some arrows. And just let the fire damage slip, do not even really that little damage even like some pretty decent uh, damage ticks there. Let's keep him burning. He needs to go to the clinic. He's he's got a lot of burning going on. <laughs> okay, we'll run past here. Oh, that, that almost got a little sketchy. All right, he's almost dead. We're gonna do something silly. You wanna do a big steppy, bud? You wanna do big steppy? Oh no, not not big steppy. <laughs> Rar. Perhaps I'm gonna do something foolish. Oh. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Damn though. Got a dumpy, a big tree dumpy. <laughs> And when he is defeated, he drops his head as a trophy, which is one of the thing one of you need for um, <clears throat> to finish the game eventually when the full game's done. And you also get the swamp key, which is what you need for to get into swamp dungeons, which is the next biome. So yeah, that's uh, the elder. Not super. Not super. I mean, it's not boring, but it's not super exciting. You can make it more exciting if you want, but you can just fight it with a bow and arrow. And Oh, hey, look, I used almost exactly 100, like, not exactly 100. I used a lot of arrows. <laughs> so I'm glad I made more, because I might have ran out, or came close to running out. Anyway, we can leave this here, but we'll sleep, and then we'll come back for the stuff and sail, probably sail home, honestly. Because we don't really need to... Uh, we only we don't really need to kill this guy once. And if we need to kill him again, we know that it's connected by land, technically, so we can just kind of come back. But... Uh, we got some stone from... Oh, I brought stone with me because I was going to, like, do something. I can't remember what it was, but it was definitely something. 
All right, put that away, put that away. We got his head, we've got the key. Let's fix up our stuff. We basically just need to fix up our bow. And we'll fix our axe. But yeah, as you saw with that last bit of the fight, like the axe does a lot more damage than your bow does. So you can probably shoot him with fire and then like, try to chop him with the axe if you're trying to just kill him really fast. But eh, you don't really need to do that, really. It's not super. Uh, it's not super imperative to kill him very fast because he doesn't. He doesn't summon any friends to fight you or anything like that. The third boss does. So like, the third boss is a, a, a pretty decent step up in difficulty. It's not impossible. It's not like impossibly so, but it's definitely a step up in difficulty. So don't expect the third boss to be quite that easy. We're not even pr close to prepared for that anyway. We just killed the second one, you know? But uh, let's sleep. And then we'll go back, destroy the stuff for that little base that we made there. That was just a contingency plan in case I did die. Although, as you saw, it's very easy to avoid getting even hurt fighting that boss because you just use the pillars to block his attacks and you just run away from the vines in a intelligent manner and you just don't really get hit so we're keeping this portal here because this is kind of like a nice portal to have like as an emergency escape like if you're, in, if you're in danger and you need to get away you can just place down a portal and it will by default has like no tag so it'll just link up to this one here and you can use that while you're exploring the world to kind of just get back home to sleep and eat food and check on crops you know, yada 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 stuff, words. <laughs> Alright, break the portal. I don't really need this wood per se, but we're gonna reclaim all this. We'll just kind of tear the whole cabin down. And, and the only evidence that we we're ever here is just gonna be that there's kind of like a, a flattened area. I realize it still didn't mark on my map where the boat was, but it's, like, around here somewhere, so we'll just go to it. And we could technically head, just head back home on foot, but we have the boat here. We might as well take it back with us. So, yeah, let's just head through the forest. Oh, yeah, the elder uh, destroyed some trees, so we can just kind of pick up the wood from that. That is something I've seen people talk about on Reddit before. Because unfortunately, one of the best sources of info on this game is from Reddit, of all places. So, I've seen t people talk about how they summoned the boss and then just, like, ran away from it. And it would use its attacks and just destroy a lot of trees. That might be something to do if, if you really need a lot of wood for a project, maybe. But, eh. It's just as simple to go cut down a few trees or just fight Grey Dwarves. Because Grey Dwarves drop wood as well. Uh, no, I put my pickaxe way back home. I was gonna say, maybe I should mine some, uh... I could just make the portal again. And mine tin here, but, eh. Going forward, we're not gonna be using too much more bronze for too many things. There might be occasionally some time where I need to, but by then we'll have a better pick, and we can just... This deer is, like, just... Not very... It's not trying very hard to get away. <laughs> Yep, here's our nice little boat. We are going to put down our thing and make sure it's fixed before we leave. Yeah, it took a little bit of damage, not much. We probably, I think we ran into some rocks or like some shallow water or something like that. So let's just gently push it this way. Might run into this boat. Get away from me, <laughs> you punk ass gray dwarf. See, there's a Grey Dwarf spawner over there, so there's even more of them than there normally even is. Now, you can take advantage of these spawners, and the Grey Dwarves, when they die, always drop wood and stone. And those are some, like, the basic building materials, so, um... You can certainly exploit those spawners to get, like, infinite amounts of those. Well, functionally infinite, but, you know, you know... Alright, let's see how well we get out of this situation here, because kind of we kind of beached ourselves a little bit without really meaning to. 
We might need to get out and shove the boat over a little bit more. And then we'll kind of push it a little bit just to kind of get away. All right, we should start being able to sail off off the rocks or whatever sandbar we're on. Yeah, here we go. All right, and let's see, we're heading back that way. So we're, we'll put our sails up. We should, catch, should be able to catch some wind. It's not like a perfect. It's not gonna be a perfect. Uh, ooh, actually, wait a sec. There's a shipwreck here. See that right there? We'll, we'll sail around the corner to it. So we gotta sail around the corner anyway, so we'll just kind of stop off and grab stuff from there. Trans rights. That's right. Meowth, that's right. <laughs> Trans rights, that's right. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna temporarily stop right here hop out and grab stuff from here because this shipwreck you can you can break this metal grape it doesn't really give you anything you can break this though there's a chest here with some coins kind of wish it had more than that but it can we can break the chest to get a little bit of wood I think it's somewhere I don't know oh great now oh, come here come here Stop doing weird half steps, you little creature. More work to do. Hey, that's on you. Woo! Well, I was thinking there'd be more of that ship, but the reason we broke that ship is it gave us, like, 13 more fine wood that we don't have to chop down a tree for, which is nice. So, yeah, if I see any more of those shipwrecks like that, I'm absolutely going to be going after them. Anyway, we're going to sail home, and we'll probably end the stream there once we get home. Looks like the wind changed a little bit, which may make this a little slower. Yeah, it's going to make it a little slower. We'll just have to paddle home. That's fine. As long as we're not close to the coast, we shouldn't have any risk of any sea serpents or anything like that. So we'll just we'll just have a nice a nice little relaxing paddle home in our little boat. See big ass Yggdrasil frickin' branch. Well, this is a pretty good stream we did today. Uh, we got the boat made, we got some bronze made, we upgraded some stuff. We discovered that my boar spawner is broken somehow. I don't know how it's not working anymore. Well, I know how it's not working. Kill them all. Hello, birdie. We just finished, we just fought the elder and we're sailing home. Even though we could just walk there, we just kind of want to sail the boat. There's a troll, big blue dumpy. <clears throat> big blue dumpy. <laughs> we just, we just, we just fuck. We kind of did. We kind of did. It, we I, like the final two hits I got with my axe just because I could. Cause it's kind of funny and it, it 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 went the elder went face down ass up so you, you know what you gotta do sometimes you gotta take a picture <laughs> i can't well i didn't even take a picture but we, we, i have the mental image of the of the elder just ass in the air they do be all about them tentacles that's true all those little roots coming out of the ground <laughs> uh, we kind of have some wind but we'll just we'll just sail back our base is up here in the hills Kind of inconvenient. Probably we're gonna end up moving that base closer to the shore eventually. Um, the furthest the, the furthest boss I've fought myself is the third boss. I've not fought the fourth boss before or anything fat past that. Ooh. About to smack it more than once. <laughs> Yikes forever. Well, we're getting there. 
on my own time on my own I've killed the third boss and on my offline file I'm about to do it again I'm just kind of prepping up for it. I just got a whole bunch of stuff back to the base the elder going face down doing the deus <laughs> about to smack it more than once oh great now that we're almost home it's like oh hey you want some wind got some wind for you so we'll just kind of be able to get back lickety split like this kind of area here is kind of like where we've been kind of designated as a like current dock area I don't know if it's because I killed it with an axe, but like, yeah, the elder just kind of fell forward and face down, tree butt to the sky. And I unceremoniously stared at its little boot, at his, at his big wrinkly booty, before he burst into a cloud of dust. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we'll get, we're gonna get home. Probably go. I might go and put the head on the thing too and then we'll call the stream there I can't even see this deer up oh, I missed <laughs> oh, the sail is in the way <laughs> that's the excuse I'm gonna give the sail is in the way it's a surprise I could even shoot the damn elder with my bow with how bad I am at shooting bows. Hello, fish. Goodbye, fish. Yeah, we, we previously built a bridge across the, the way here, and if I'm going to build a base down here, I'll probably have this as just kind of like a dock area for boats, because it's wide enough to be accessible. Just going to have to put some effort in. Look out, lily pads. Let's just try, let's try to parallel park our boat. <laughs> oh, they never, they never went over this in boating school. <laughs> you know, that's probably about as good as I can really ask for. We're actually next to the, next to the dock at least. That's better than I usually do. By dock, I mean bridge I built across the, the, the river in the first stream, I think. <clears throat> I end up making a base along this river here, which maybe, but like it's kind of hilly and gross, so I don't know if I want to. Maybe I should make it over there where it's a little flatter. Yeah, this could definitely be uh, the place to dock boats. <clears throat> Alright, so let's... Can we still make the, uh... Portal? Should be able to. I should still have all the stuff. Yeah, we can. Okay. Run up this hill. My boar spawner broke, birdie. Like, I've got I've got two star boars because I, I managed to find a two star boar from, from a uh, one of the stones. And I made th this thing up here, and it was working fine last stream, but this stream I noticed that one of the boars up there is just not up there anymore. I don't know why. It's weird. So next stream I'm probably going to end up getting another boar up there. I kind of started that, and I was like, no, no, this is too much work. But yeah, I've got this thing. And we'll work on getting another boar up there when I have more time, which will be next week. But before we end off, I'm going to... Put the uh, 
the elders trophy on the altar so I don't forget to not that it really matters that much I don't think but I mean, it kind of does, because we use the Elder Power to cut trees down more easily or something. I'm sure someone cares about that. I usually don't, because I get I tend to get a lot of my wood from just gray dwarves, because they're just numerous. When you live anywhere near a black forest, you just find gray dwarves. And plus these little... I like breaking these kind of bits of wood here to just get extra wood for a lot less work. Plus, I kind of like the forests. They're just kind of nice. Oh, if I don't get stuck on bushes, that'd be great. Come here. At least the Grayling didn't waste my time. It just ran right into my axe, basically. Stone here. Which stone is this? Blue eyed shufflers and muck. The neck are small lizards and native of Alheim. Surly and mean spirited. They'll attack on sight and must be destroyed like vermin. They stay in your water because the creatures of the land loathe and abhor them. Yet no creature is, is all bad. Their tails are delicious. Mmm. Yeah, that's the important thing. They're not bad because their tails are delicious. Their tails are more useful for po for mead than they are for eating. Just fight the fight the boars because they're gonna fight me anyway. All right, here we go. We're back at spawn. Now, at some point, I probably do want to have a portal to here so I don't have to run here all the time because it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> it was kind of cool how, like, we spawn here and Ike there's, like, right over here. What's What did I even have? At the, we'll put this on the... I love how tall this is. It's just a, lar a tall dude. Just a big dude. And you can activate his power, the elder's power, to uh, get faster wood cutting for a certain amount of time, which is nice. But dike through power is more generally useful because you, you do a lot of running around, like a lot of running around. I think I made this little a little Ikethir base over here just in case I somehow died against that boss. It's not a very hard boss. What's even in here? Nothing in here. Just this stuff. It's very com a very compact base, as you can see. It's just it might be three. It might be three by two. Yeah, it's three by two. I could have just counted the walls, but yep, that's that was just that little base for that. And we'll head home. I'm probably gonna pick the. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter when I pick the carrots because I don't play. I don't play files for stream stuff offline unless I really need to do something like drastically like unless it's like life or death like, oh hello nope where are you going oh i was ex i wasn't expecting to hit that can't even see where the deer went up. it's over there <laughs> i missed pretty bad Pretty badly too, but yeah, I wasn't expecting to actually hit that. Uh, and if I can see, if I can spot some deer and kill them on the way back to home, that'd be fine. Because you you always need deer hides for stuff. It feels like so having a lot of them is never a bad thing. I don't know where that deer even went. Ooh, gotcha. Right in the snoot. Hmm. 
Wasn't sure if that was a rock or a deer. Is there anything in here? A torch. Well, oh, now I'm carrying this, that that torch is so thick. What what's weighing me down? Probably the, like the stack and a half of wood. You know, I you can have this. I don't need the torch. I was planning on throwing that one away anyway. I just didn't yet. I guess. Now that I know my weight's that high, I probably shouldn't really do much. I mean, I could probably... That, that's a boar. I care, I care a little less if it's a boar, because I have boars at my house. Yeah, we're just heading, heading back to our base. Whoop, whoop! I had to swerve around some deer last night coming home just because, well, it's starting to get warmer now so the deer are around, so I like, I was going up a hill around a corner and there, these deer were just trying to cross the road, I had to swerve around them. Thankfully I didn't hurt my car or them, but yeah, it was a little spooky, I'll, I'll tell you that. Like, I was a little like, oh fuck. I couldn't really stop because it's kind of like a blind spot if someone else has come up the hill, they'd probably be going like fucking 50 and run into me. I didn't really have much of a choice, but thankfully, neither I, my car, or the deer were harmed. I think it was a mom and its kid, because I think one of them was falling it and it was smaller, so that's, that's my running theory, at least, but, uh, yeah, like, that was just a, a, just a tiny cherry on top of the other horse shit that went on yesterday. I was like, oh, come on, really, really life, life just throwing everything it's got at me today. You feel cold. Well, let's get back to our. Oh, hello. I'm gonna kill you before you become a problem. God, there's so many gray dwarves. I'm gonna kill you because you're in my way. I, I can't even pick up your loot. I've got too much loot from other stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that was exhilarating. And by exhilarating, mean bullshit. <laughs> All right, uh, let's put that away. More trophies than my body has room for. More stuff. Let's put away this stuff. We'll have the. We'll grab those out for next time, because next time we're gonna be ex probably trying to find a swamp. We'll probably, we'll likely start with uh, fixing this so that when I'm home and around, I can breed more boars. I still don't know how it broke. I probably will never find. I'll probably, I'm probably never gonna find out how it broke. It's just kind of one of the boars is just isn't up there anymore. I don't know if it somehow despawned. I don't think they can do that, but mm, I, don't know. I just know I gotta fix it if I want to use it some more. Okay. Well. Where did that come from? I... What? Oh, random just wood. You know what? We'll use that to make another shelf up here. In the event there's something else I need to put up there. I like this little house. I've probably said I've, I like it. Because it's like... It's got different levels, kind of. When we, build, when we rebuild a base somewhere else, we'll probably do something similar to this. But a little different, like... I got a little bedroom over here, like on the cliff side. A little window, got a chair and table. It's, it's cozy. And then the fire here. A little, kind of like a little mud room. 
And there's that. They got some more two star boars in here just as emergency backup boars. They're the BBs, the backup boars. <laughs> uh, but yeah, next stream we'll probably start it by working on uh, this. I'm going to put these things in here for now since they're kind of close to where the portal is anyway. And uh, next stream we'll work on getting another boar up there so I can breed more boars. We we have some in here that we bred up, like, because they, how it's supposed to work is the two boars up there breed and then the baby falls out the back. <laughs> Just gets squirted out the little hole there, and then the baby boars don't take fall damage. They fall down here and then they mature, and... As long as you're within render distance of the boars, they'll just keep breeding as long as they have the right conditions, which is fed and happy, which is, if you feed them, they get both, as long as they're not scared of something. If, that, if they're not that high up, they're probably not going to get scared by much, so. We're going to sleep, and then we're going to stop there, because I've already went over a little more than I wanted, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make a deal. Sounds like a great oaf's destroying. Sounds like a great oaf is destroying my workbench. Hello, Alice. Thanks for tuning in for a little bit. Or I don't know how long you've been here, but for however long, however long it's been, thank you. Oh, motherfucker destroyed the damn workbench. I was always saying, oh, they're probably attacking the workbench, and they sure did. But yeah, thanks for being here. It's nice seeing you. Hopefully you're doing well. We rebuilt that, but yeah, this is the end of our stream. Next stream, I'll be working on fixing that monstrosity. And we'll probably try to find a swamp to explore. I don't really see. I see this over here. This water looks like it's probably the swamp water, maybe. Actually, I don't know if I know what I'm talking about. But we'll, we'll find a swamp to explore next stream. But yeah, this is where we end the, we'll end this one here. Kind of where it kind of began, too. So, we'll do quits. Right, and I'll put my thingy up here. Shut up, OBS. You're fine. It's like encoding over. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's where I'm going to stream today. Um, I plan on streaming this weekend, like one of my big, like three-part streams throughout the day. So if that sounds like something you would like to um, watch, well, uh, usually start around 8 a.m. on Saturday. OBS is a loser. It's like, oh, I'm overloaded, and it's like. No, you're not. Stop. <laughs> you're just poorly, you're just probably poorly programmed to handle some situations. But yeah, Saturday I'll be doing an 8 a.m. stream, probably like a noon or 1 p.m. stream, and then like an evening stream. So if that sounds like something you'd like to watch and hang out with for, uh, just come on by. I'll be still fundraising then as well. But yeah, that's where I end this stream. Let me see if I can raid into someone real fast. Uh... Which one of these should I go for? I will go for this one. I had this video paused here. I was making some clips either last week or earlier this week. So let's go back to just regular Twitch. Uh, let's see who we got. Ooh, my pal Eve, who has not streamed in quite some time. Oh, um, <laughs> Nakura is freaking, Neki is freaking streaming too. That's such a hard choice. Well, since I haven't seen my friend Eve in longer, I think I'm going to drop in and see how she's doing. Um, we can, we can, I'll, I'll probably chat with um, Neki at some point next soon. But yeah, I'm going to end my stream. We're going to be raiding, raiding into Eve the Orphan. <laughs> if I don't see y'all there, then I'll see you next time. I see ya. Y'all have a great day now.